right when I clicked that it started. I'm hoping that it does. I, I can never manage to get the timing quite right. But we are going to go ahead and we are going to play Fallout New Vegas. I hope that everyone who attends tonight and everyone who stops by in the future is having a positively wonderful night or day whenever you stop by and see this. But right now it is election night in the United States. Um, I am an American citizen and I definitely have very strong feelings about the election, but that's not the point of tonight. Um, we will be doing political stuff in the future. The only thing I'm going to say right now is that I hope that everyone who stops by has a fun time. Um, that said, let's go ahead and hop on over into the Mojave Desert. <laughs> I really like Fallout New Vegas. Um, I think it'd be really funny to joke about this being a super apolitical game, you know, a post-apocalypse game. Also, hey Adam, I'm glad that you're stopping by and that you're continuing to hang out with us on election night. Um, I have scheduled the tweets and the social media stuff to be going out in a few minutes, but for right now we're going to be saying hello to Valentois Stick, um, who is our character in Fallout New Vegas. Um, his first name was Jessica's choice, and his last name was my choice, and he is a very silly man who is not in super great shape. Um, I want us to start off by hopping on down and checking out stuff like the level, because as I mentioned last time, every single level you get a new little name, and because I am fairly morally neutral in this character, my name is The Seeker. Also, hey Tria, I hope that you're having a good night, and I hope that you and your family are vibing. Apparently, I am near danger, so that's exciting. Um, we are starting off tonight dangerously, apparently. Um, also, we were able to make this mad lad in a relatively short amount of time. It didn't take us very long at all to make this special asshole, just like it didn't take us super long to make Titty. Um, <laughs> I, I love saying Titty's, like, a shorthand name. Um, Titty the Tiger is his god-given legal name. Um, I'm glad that you're there for Hufflepuff. I know that, like, y'all are definitely gonna be affected by whatever the fuck happens tonight. Um, y'all, just like me and Jess, are people who are definitely, um, in danger. Ooh, so let's let's see there are some assholes over there let me see if i can grab a better gun and um snipe those dickheads just as soon as i can see them so my character is a sneaky lad um i really like playing sneaky lads he's not the most perceptive but he has decent perception um jessica asked about making like non-binary characters um, I don't think that you can, as far as I know, I don't think you can in any of the Fallout games, actually, which is really unfortunate. Um, but this is, yeah, <laughs> fuck those assholes. Oh, wait. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd say that, um, telling them to go fuck themselves is definitely the move. It's also worth noting, over here there are explosives. Um, I'm gonna see, okay, let me, let me back away from this, um, to see if, I can shoot them from a distance. Um, also, yeah, I got that, Tria. But I know that you being there for your family is very important, and I'm glad that you could be there for them tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, for a lot of people, tonight is going to suck. It's probably going to suck for me because, like, I... I went into this pretty confident, and so far I'm still pretty confident, but I have not paid any attention to the news today. Um, as far as I know, Trump could already have declared himself the victor. I am 90% sure that's an explosive. Oh, okay. <laughs> I fucking knew it was an explosive. That's great. Um, fortunately, I, I do have stuff that can make me feel better. Um, I have a doctor's bag, which I can go ahead and use, and I also have a ton of stim packs. I love it here. Um, more Dems? Oh, that's awesome. Um, my understanding is that that's actually the case over here, too, but I haven't checked today, like, I haven't checked anything that's come out today, aside from stuff that came out, like, really early this morning. Um, also, apparently, stealing dynamite from literal criminals... Um, who fucking escaped a prison, um, Jesus, please lift the yourself seeing the health of it could be nice. 
Um, I don't know how to do that. Also, I might have just over encumbered. Um, let me, goodness, I, I think that I actually can do that. I, I think that I know how. It's going to require me to hop out of this, which is fine. So just give me, give me two seconds to do that. Because I'm pretty sure that I actually know how to do this. Let me just see. Edit layout. Okay. Um, webcam. Yeah. Love it here. Okay. Cool. Save. Perfect. Perfect. Um, you're at 80% turnout. Nice. Oh, that's, that's really good news. Okay. So cool. I'm going to go ahead and hop right back into this. Sorry about it being really loud. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we should, that should have fixed the health thing. Um, I personally really like the infinite yawning portal. Also, I went and I grabbed water, so make sure that you stay hydrated. Um, I actually also have a drink that's not water today. I have soda, but I'm saving that for in case I start to feel more tired, which might be the case later on. Tonight we're probably going to be streaming for longer than we usually do, um, so that's going to be very exciting. Um, I ho also, I hope that this isn't fucking deafening. Um, I have the hardest time with setting up audio for um, Twitch stuff. Apparently the actual game audio is fine, um, but I can never get the goddamn like menu audio to be like what it's supposed to be. Um, there is another friggin... There is another explosive over there. Um, oh shit, that guy, he had lit up his dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay um i'm gonna go ahead and take his ncr bucks i'll take his dynamite um nice okay cool uh okay since i took it it um it it's not gonna explode um okay so then there's an explosive over there i think that there's also an explosive in there if i remember this game correctly um so let's see is there one in here um, if there is, we're about to find out, but we're also right next to a bed, and we're not playing in this game's, like, hardcore... <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam. I always warn people that I have no fucking idea how to configure audio, um, for, for Twitch. So, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> also, I hate that some games, like, the way that I do Twitch, I hate that with some games I can't just, like, start the game up first and then go and like start twitch because i would really like for y'all to not have to see the freaking um audio the the freaking menus every single time that we decide to do something um it's unfortunate that that is the way that it is i'm just gonna go ahead and fucking shoot that explosive there cool um <laughs> and now we're gonna be able to yeah all right so you're redoing the hag so we'll have something to tear down on thursday nice <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, Tria is having fun being a dungeon master. Um, that li that particular campaign is not live streamed, which is honestly kind of a shame because like uh, I'm unusually chaotic in that specific campaign. I I actually encourage our chaos from time to time, which is not usually how I play D and D. Um, but I decided it would be fun to encourage the chaos a little bit. Um, but yeah. Right now, we are just, uh, for those of you who don't know the story for Fallout New Vegas, um, we play some fucking asshole known as the Lone Wanderer, and our objective in the very beginning of the game is to go to New Vegas and um, to track down an item known as the Platinum Chip, which another asshole named Benny stole from us. Um, it was our job to deliver it because we were a courier. Um, don't mind me as I slaughter this child. Um, <laughs> let's see, but still can fit. Oh, okay. Honestly, that's fair because like um, Fantasy Grounds is a weird software to use. So I can imagine that streaming it would be like really fucking wild. Um, but I do think it'd be really fun for us to actually live stream that campaign. I know that if no one else does, but we'd be cool with it. I would because it's a really, really fun campaign. Um, all of our characters bring their own special bit of chaos to the mix. Um, unsurprisingly, my favorite character is me. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. 
Um, I play Belton, and Belton is an Asimar, which means that he's like an angel person, and he is a warlock cleric who really likes to snipe things from very far away, likes helping people, and does not like pain. Um, also, Adam, no, not those kind of kinks. And Tria and I are ace, so, like, always ask about stuff like that before we start talking about sexy things. Not, I'm fine talking about sexy things, this could be a very silly, not safe for work chat, but not every ace is like me, and I definitely don't want to assume. I'm very weird, um, when it comes to, like, ace things. I meant to, like, live stream, um, but, but you can, uh, storm yourself. <laughs> Twitch, uh, Jessica, I like Twitch. Um, obviously, I like Twitch at least a little bit, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But I think that Twitch is a very fun place, but also I'm a very silly person. Um, I used to think of myself as way more serious before I started like doing a lot more live streams. And then I realized, it's like, look, I'm not very good at being serious. I like um, having... Oh, okay, I see the typo now, Adam. Um, I like being online and stuff, and I like that at least some of my friends stop by and we have a good time together. Um, I just genuinely really like chow- um, chowing. I was gonna say chillin' and then I was gonna say chatting and the words mixed. Um, but yeah. Um, I really like- ugh, there's another one of these things. Come on. Uh, watch me cut this child. <laughs> Okay, and then there's another one. I think this one's bigger. Oh, no, this one isn't bigger. This is the same one. I know that I can power attack, but honestly, this is a much more fun way to do it. Um, also, oh, no, I see a buffering. Um, there's a rad roach, and then there's another one. Um, I wonder when's the first time we're going to see one of these assholes that breathes fire. Last time I mentioned um, on the chat that, like, some geckos later on in the game breathe fire, and Tria's response... Um, I think it was, like, almost verbatim. It's like, I want a fire-breathing gecko as a pet. And I was like, look, this one is the size of a person. So, I mean, yikes. I think a fire-breathing gecko would be a cool pet in theory until I realize it's the size of me. Because, you know, I'm not a tall man. Um, rad roaches were the insects that we came across that were already dead. The thing that you just randomly saw me cut into. Um, they're, they're irradiated cockroaches. Yeah. Um... So yeah, um, <laughs> the danger pets. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on in Prim. Um, also, so this is the way that the game intends for you to have your like next set of encounters with powder gangers. But if you had gone in the opposite, <laughs> cut the child, consume its flesh. <laughs> um, the other way that you can and the other way that you can encounter powder gangers is actually if you go in the opposite direction that we went which is i guess the like more dangerous route where you can encounter um where you can encounter them and also like dogs and shit and also a fucking death oh god what are they called death claw um a fucking death claw if you are really unlucky and you continue down the main route but there's someone over there who's like hey you're gonna encounter a death claw and fucking die if you continue down this route um i'm pretty sure we're gonna have me have a silly death in this just sort of innately and i won't have to like go out of my way to die like i did last time um for instance if i didn't know about this game i probably would have not noticed those fucking landmines and then they would have blown me up um, let me just go ahead. Alright, I need to use something. Let's see. Go meet the boomers. <laughs> oh, the boomers. Okay, I'm gonna use my bigger gun. Let's see if this works. There it is. Okay, this one's not a mine. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> The reason that these landmines are set up, especially for those of you who don't pay attention to um, the audience, or for those of you who don't pay attention to like the little chat things, which I usually breeze through anyway, so it's not really anyone's fault, um, that area is off limits because the powder gangers, who are criminals who use explosives, um, came and took it over. And in order to keep them from crossing, the NCR has set up fucking landmines over here so um 
you can just pick them up if you have better reflexes than I do. I'm going to show y'all what happens when you try to pick them up. So this very well might be the silly death of this session. Um, just like getting fucked by the giant scorpion was a silly death of last session. Oh, okay. That's what happens. I'm going to be braver this time and I'm just going to... There it is. Nice, we did it! <laughs> we didn't silly die. Um, I think there might be one more. I guess not. I could have sworn that there was another one. But yeah, um, we experienced all of the interactions we could have with those sorts of explosives, aside from, like, luring enemies over them just now. Um, I shot one and I blew it up. I um, set off the other with my face, and then <laughs> I picked up the last one. Love it here. Um, I do think that, like, that's probably the way um, that it's supposed to be done, Adam. Um, just go forward and spam the pickup key. Um, if you've never played Fallout and you don't know this, it turns out that in some of the games, the higher explosive skill you have, the longer the time you have between, like, the explosives being set off and them actually exploding, so it's easier for you. Um, no, don't go to bed. If you... Okay. I... I am annoyed by this. So we're gonna do something evil... And then we're gonna load the game, and it'll be fine. And we're gonna we're gonna save the game, and it'll be fine. But we're about to commit um, what some people would call a murder. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna start with you. Um, let's honestly let's see how this goes because it's entirely possible I'll get fucked doing this. Okay, come on. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So yep. Let's see, um, this, this is gonna be fun. Also, I think that I probably could have been, like, fine if I had done this in another way. Hey, <laughs> I have stim packs, so, oh, come on. Um, I am gonna use the stim packs. We are gonna, like, save, it's a quick save. It, it is a quick save? Okay. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna use the quick save button. Um, but first, I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm not really in danger here. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so that's one down. Um, oh, that was... Okay, that wasn't good. Um, cool. And now we're gonna do this. But <laughs> listen, Tria, if they didn't want to die, they shouldn't have, like... Uh, they shouldn't have made the mistake of, you know... <laughs> now he's trying to run away. <laughs> I'm glad that he doesn't try to run away from, like, um, act- uh, he doesn't try to run away in an intelligent way. He doesn't, like, go out the door where he'd be able to call his friends. Um, sir, I am- have- have my legs been injured? They probably have been. Um, I think that one more shot to the face will do it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, so now I'm shunned. Um, and now we're gonna do what's called a pro gamer move, um, and we are going to just reload from before I killed people. Um, so now I'll do this like a normal person. Um, <laughs> let's see, what are you doing out here? Um, what's the problem with your mission? Tell me about the correctional facility, and then do you have any information? Come on. Uh, dang it. <laughs> I didn't mean to reclick. Um, oh, come on. Honestly. Sir. <laughs> Don't make me regret. Um, <laughs> I prefer cannibalism. What is it with people in my life and being like, you know what doesn't get a good enough rep? Cannibalism. <laughs> this is a very consistent thing with the people I care about and my friends in my life. And I, I'm deeply concerned about the fact that, like, everyone is like, hey, you know what's kind of okay? cannibalism <laughs> also in this game and in skyrim you can be a cannibal but in skyrim they are like really loose about cannibalism and they're like look if you are a humanoid who eats another humanoid that's cannibalism and i'm like no that's not what it that's not what that is i mean like i get the idea that they're going for um and in terms of like gameplay it makes sense but the idea that like khajiit don't eat um don't eat people is fucking ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I think in this game you can just get a perk to become a cannibal. 
And in Skyrim, you have to go through a whole quest thing in order to become a cannibal. Um, we actually might have started the quest with Titty. Um, I don't remember for sure, but it's in Markarth, which was the area that we fucked around in a whole lot. Um, be a cannibal for Jessica. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I honestly think it'd be really funny if I actually got like a really big audience one day and it's not it's not even illegal um eating human flesh perfectly legal I don't know if that's true in the United States it very well might be I'm not saying it isn't but like I'm gonna say in the United States that's probably not accurate um right now we're trying to steal someone's guns um, we're trying to infringe on someone's Second Amendment rights in America. Um, <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, no. Did I take everything? I didn't mean to. Okay, good. Taking everything is A. Uh, for a second, I was worried. Um, we are going to lose a lot of karma just from stealing shit, which I personally think is dumb. Um, oh, no. We're over-encumbered. That's fine. Oh, shit. No, it isn't. Um, let's see, cannibalism is boring, be a vampire or a werewolf. You see, I like Tria's idea. That's an idea I could get behind, you know? <laughs> like, um, let me see, let me see what stupid shit I could throw away. I could throw away this, um, cool. Okay, yeah, that's there, that's perfect. I'm going to put it in this refrigerator. Um, I think it's legal in the United States. I, it honestly might be, but I'm just like, I don't know, I, I'm thinking that innately, just like from my understanding of United States law, which is admittedly not very good, I'm, I'm feeling like that's probably illegal. Also, there's definitely people here, and I know that I'm sneaking, but I definitely should have encountered them by now. There are absolutely dickheads roaming around this area specifically with dynamite. I don't know where they're hiding. Um... Uh, as long as you don't desecrate the corpse? <laughs> is there a way for you to, like, get <laughs> flesh from a body without desecrating the corpse? Like, what do you, what qualifies as desecrating the corpse? Also, this is a very weird chat. Um, oh, fuck it, who cares? This is just, this is honestly the sort of chat that, like, I feel like people would just sort of think of what happened in any sort of twitch stream that like is mine um have a have a friend <laughs> it's look it's not called it's not desecrating corpse if you're eating your friend <laughs> if your friend would have consented to it which honestly if it's gonna be legal which i mean i guess it should be legal you know like i personally don't like it but i mean it's one of those things where it's like, I guess this should be legal. Having a friend probably would help. Um, burning is desecration. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's some asshole in front of me. There they are. Um, I feel like it should be harder to detect me than it is. Because, like, I have 40 stealth. I don't think that I should be getting caught this easily. Um, but these assholes can almost... Come on. I know you're gonna try. Okay, come on. Uh, my weapon is in poor condition. Uh, your face is in poor condition. Um, boom, roasted. Um, this guy's trying to run away. There's also someone behind me. Listen, I don't have time for your shit. Um, so I'm gonna take out my broad machete. And, uh, uh excuse you, sir. Um, okay, how do I unsneak? Thank you. Um, come on. Gonna go ahead. Um, okay. What's... Why is this? This is doing, like, no damage to you somehow. And that doesn't feel right. I know that, like, if you have armor, using a machete would not be nearly as effective. But that still doesn't feel right. That said, I have a shotgun, so... What is with your damage resistance? This man, this is the sturdiest man alive. I know that, like, my weapons aren't very good, but, like, I feel like they should be more effective than this. That said, I have this. So, <laughs> after a few minutes, I get tired, and I just immediately switch the grenade. <laughs> I was trying to be nice, but they annoyed me. Um, so, let's see. How much weight is this? This is 550. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to repair my grenade launcher with their grenade launcher. Um, so, then I'll go ahead and take this, 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 this. 
Um, I also feel like I'm better at this game than I remember being, especially once I... Ah, uh, yes, the suicide gun. That is honestly what this gun is if you don't understand how physics work, um, which is a lot of people who play this game. Um, so let's see. I have some questions about Prim. I'll go ahead and ask that. I'm trying to, like, get the quest, which... There it is. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, so let's see. Now we're going to go over into here. We're going to go into the place where you canonically have the first, like, kind of boss fight that you'll ever have in this game. If you go, I guess, the, the intended routes. Um, there's some dickhead with a fucking flamethrower further in here. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, that was not. Okay, listen. There we go. <laughs> nice i like how we just see like a single leg flop over my way <laughs> love it here okay so let's see i'll go ahead and take your drugs um and that'll be all sir okay i'm going to save uh okay good night adam um i hope that school goes well i always forget that you're youngin um but yeah so let's see we're definitely going to be playing this game for a while tonight just because this game is so fucking goofy um and because it's a nice little way to relieve some stress um locked easy do i have i do not have a high enough okay i do have a high enough skill let's see written um setting okay i'm gonna go for the one that's like the most different okay so i'm not gonna lock myself out i understand how this game works um there's a very easy way to do all of this stuff. Um, you never have to get locked out as long as you log out first. Um, let's see. Okay, staying. Okay, so staying is four sevens, correct? Um, let's see. Okay, we're not gonna do that. So this goes. This opens up over here. However, <laughs> you went on Twitter and you immediately got stressed. Um, I am going to do another pro game remove. <laughs> Love it here. Sometimes I just don't feel like dealing with that shit. And then of course, there's another one of these fucking things. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, that's karma. Um, that said, I'm still gonna like, I'm still gonna do the pro game remove in a second. Um, so let's see. Let's see what's in here. I'll take this. Um... I'm probably gonna need a lot of this medical stuff because like the boss in this unless you decide to fucking murderize him immediately with like a grenade launcher or something is not the easiest boss to deal with um let's also go and use a doctor's bag thank you so that way all of my limbs are healed again um I could also just go and rest somewhere if I really wanted to um all right so this was the guy that I stole from first Let's see, I'll go ahead and take his money, um, and then there are also some assholes in here, um, I think. There should be some assholes in here. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you're feeling stressed about the election, that's one of the big reasons why I decided to have a stream tonight. Um, I really strongly debated in my head, even a few weeks ago, whether or not I was going to have something on election night um just because i didn't know if people were gonna show up but i decided fuck it um if people show up they show up if they don't show up they don't show up um and also i was hoping that the people who did show up would have fun and i mean i'm hoping that's what's happening i know that i'm enjoying myself as we play silly games um get trolled um or not trolled i'm pretty sure that like the second person who hopped into the chat wasn't a troll but i don't know about the first person from um the stream earlier tonight it was definitely something that like i had never seen before that's not entirely true i have seen like people have come and trolled some of my streams but yeah um this is really helpful <laughs> I'm glad that it's helping someone. So this is the area where the people are, um, and we are going to do what's called another pro gamer move, because I have a stealth boy, which very sexily turns me invisible. And um, I want to go, and I want to find the big head honcho, and I want to fuck him up. Um, cool, he's not in here, which is good. Um, he is... Will I be able to identify him just by, just by sight? Um, oh no, that, there he is. 
Cool. Perfect. Uh, yep. Here he is. Cool. Yeah. Um, but he's... Oh, that's good. I'm glad that Elmer's doing well. Um, I like how he has kind of detected me, because, like, he says the ambient lines. Um, how should I do this? I'm thinking that, like, the pro gamer strat is to use the grenade launcher when everyone is up close. Um, however, I need to do that in a way that doesn't result in me fucking dying. Um, is this the quick save? Yeah, that's the quick save button. Cool. Thanks, Adam. Um, that was one of Adam's tips from earlier. So, here we go. We're gonna live life dangerously and say, fuck these guys. Yeah. Um, did it kill both of them? Oh, shit, he's still alive. Whoa, that's some fucking health. Um, okay, can he detect me? Oh, he can detect me. Nice. That's impressive. Um, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heal a little bit. Um, I'm glad that you think that you'll get there. Just know, like, you have my number. You know that if shit, if shit really starts to hit the fan, you know you can count on me. Um, okay, so this guy, this is really unfortunate because this guy has some thick-ass armor. And I do not have anything, aside from my grenade launcher, that is especially good against his, like, thick-ass armor. Um, I have dynamite and I have frag mines. Okay, I think that like what I'm gonna do um, Let's see. Okay. Fuck you. Um, oh cool that. Oh, yes. He's getting he's getting like super injured all over the place um, I it it is helping me. I actually really enjoy this um, There are definitely like there's definitely shit. That's like kind of weird um, Also, wow, I really fucked up that guy's leg Okay, if I can fuck up this asshole's leg, then I think I'll be okay. Um, I was about to shoot him in the dick. Um, he just got shot. <laughs> okay, um, cool. He's almost dead. Uh, just gonna shoot him there. Cool. Um, honestly, I do find streaming really helpful because I really like streaming. It's something that I can do that's, like, really great for my stress. Um, also, wow. <laughs> the guy got absolutely bodied. Um, okay, cool. We did that surprisingly easily. There is someone here who is still alive. Um, I am gonna need you. Sorry, sir. I'm gonna need you to stop being alive. Um, uh, who are you? Who, who are you? Whoever you are, you're not, a per I guess you're not alive anymore. Um, let's see. That, <laughs> I was not expecting some other dickhead to just randomly be there. Um, okay. Varmint rifle, come on gonna shoot you okay just gonna shoot you in the face then um this guy apparently felt like making it easy for me after he had been running for so long i guess he got tired um i don't need the slow-mo cam to be lasting this long there we go okay i'm gonna go ahead and take his money and then um i feel like that um there's a vine where it's like some little girl who's like um give me my fucking money and then she like throws um she throws like her doll to the floor and you hear the some like theme song from some old crime show i feel like that one <laughs> just now for some reason um after this i'm gonna start paying attention to the news and like mentally i'm just like i know that this is a mistake i also know that like it's me you know um, making mistakes is, like, what I do. Um, I'm very curious as to how that's gonna go, because polls are gonna be closing in some places, like in North Carolina, in the next hour or so. I'm looking for the escaped convict leader, because he has a fucking flamethrower on him, and I really like it. Um, bottle cap, I'll be taking this. Um, he has the sexy incinerator, which is way too much for me. Um, phone number, yeah. Um, I think that, like, for right now, I suspect that right now I'm probably gonna be okay. Honestly, a part of me is worried more about tomorrow than about today. Because, like, I said this at the beginning of this stream, and I'll say it again. Um, you know, we live in... Okay, wait. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these back. How is it that I can... Okay, that's how it is. Um, I am kind of worried 
but like today we're not gonna know how the election ends one way or another and that's a really important like caveat to anyone's attempts to make predictions today or to like any news coverage of today um we're gonna be able to make predictions some of those predictions might even turn out to be mostly accurate but like we're not gonna know definitively who won the election by the end of tonight so a lot of people are gonna be able to go to bed and having that knowledge um and that will help them and i'm one of those people like i'm someone who like if i can think about that it's easier for me to relax i'm trying to get rid of shit on me so that way i can like walk without taking forever um let's see i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this i'm gonna go ahead and just like sort of run through my stuff and get rid of some of my extras it won't be sorted tomorrow either it's probably not going to be sorted until next week because this election unlike a lot of past presidential elections has an extremely high number of mailed in ballots so that's a really significant factor drink your water stay hydrated um i can't believe this stream has been going on less than an hour it feels like it's been going on for over an hour um so yeah um, having that knowledge, like, in mind personally helps me. I'm not gonna assume that it helps anyone else, but, like, it is useful to have that sort of contextualized knowledge. Um, right now, look, look at, <laughs> look at my ass. <laughs> look at this fucking Luciano look. Um, this man manages to look like a cross between fucking Jim Pickens from Call Me Kevin and Luciano. It's great. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put on the armor now, but that... <laughs> there oh wait what did i get rid of um how does putting that on over encumber me fucking how okay wait a minute oh my goodness um okay luciana what uh, activities would i like to do for my birthday um honestly for my birthday i think just like i am planning to do a live stream on my birthday but i honestly like don't know what sort of stuff is going to be open in greensboro um also hey Zal. um so so right now i don't really know what all i would like to do on my birthday um why is it that these two have different ammo types they have different that they don't have different ammo types i just don't know how to fucking read um one of them has five bullets and the other one does not that's the problem um okay i'm gonna repair yep and then cool that should that reduced our weight a little bit i'm just gonna go ahead and repair my stuff with what i can um so that way i have less shit on me and then that's all that oh my goodness um <laughs> right now we're doing the super fun activity of fucking um <laughs> inventory management um okay so let's see tribal rating armor i don't need I don't need tribal rating armor. How is it that I can drop it? Is it D to drop? Um, it's not, oh my goodness. Okay, I apparently don't know how to drop shit, so I'm just going to, first of all, blow this man up. Um, I'm gonna start that up. You need, oh, you need my help? Um, we can talk about that tomorrow. Um, so right now, uh, I am not, I'm not in a nice mood because I have to manage my inventory. And um, because of that, Dang, it was, it, it's taking too long for this to be entertaining. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to go through here, and we are going to drop some shit off on this man. Um, I will give him some leather armor. Um, cool, there, that's all we need to do. Not over-encumbered anymore. Love it here. Um, <laughs> but also, yeah. Um, no matter what you guys are up to tonight, I hope that you're having fun with family and friends. If you can, I think that I'm having fun with family and friends because to me, like everyone here is someone that I actually know. Um, so this asshole's deputy beagle. He is not a very nice man. I'm just going to go ahead and set him free. Um, and then I passed a speech check, which I didn't really need to pass. Um, but let me make sure that there's, like, nothing here that I can take. Um, I don't need any of this. Um, so for those of you who've never played Fallout 4, in Fallout 4, scrap is actually really useful because you can use it for a lot of stuff. In this game, scrap is not at all useful. Um, I don't even remember if there's, like, a scrap cannon in this one because if I remember correctly, there is a scrap cannon in Fallout 3 and in Fallout 4. 
but I don't remember if it makes an appearance in this game. Um, because at least the scrap cannon, you can, like, use scrap as ammunition. Whereas in this game, if you have scrap, it's just useless. So that's really annoying. Um, it does have, like, one small purpose. Um, some repair checks, you can use scrap in lieu of, like, a really high repair skill. Uh, if you have a really high repair skill, you can pass repair checks without the need for scrap at all, but in a lot of cases, you're probably not going to have, like, a high enough repair level to do something with nothing, so you're gonna have to have, like, a skill check that's, like, a few numbers lower, so if it's, like, a 50 scrap check, um, by itself with no raw materials, um, it might be, like, a 35 check, um, if you have the stuff. Okay, so let's see. I can't believe this fucking asshole is over here. It's like, yeah, we taught the convicts. Um, I'm like, listen. <laughs> like, I hate this man. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, I'll help bring law and order back to this. Um, the sheriff. Yeah. Let's see. The NCR guy. Okay, so I might have a high enough speech check to be able to do this. I don't think I have a high enough science check. Oh, I do! love it here um cool apparently that was not a very high one also we just leveled up yeah we're absolutely killing it today um after this we're gonna start to encounter more monsters um let's see 13 points um i am going to go ahead let's see what i can level up uh i'm gonna go ahead and level this up to 45 because this is actually pretty important um i can also get another one of these you guys, should we get the, should we get the cannibal perk? <laughs> I saw it and I just like immediately, I immediately began to laugh. I couldn't take it seriously for like two seconds. Um, okay. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna go. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Tria and Jess, and I think Adam was also in support of this earlier. I'm sure Adam will be excited to learn later on when I tell him via Discord that we went and we got the Cannibal Burk. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, there is a machine that, like, you can repair in here. I don't remember what the, like, um, alright, let's see. With the science, um, try to repair it. Uh, repair, ooh, repair 65 or higher. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna come back here, and I'm gonna fix this at a later date, when I have higher, like, stats. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'll show off the cannibal perk, um, later on. I think that there might actually still be some assholes in here. So let me see if there is, because if there is, I'll be able to use it on them. Also, we're gonna save the game, so that way... Um, also, hi Hufflepuff, I hope you're having a good night. I heard that you're feeling stressed a little bit. I understand. Um, but I'm excited that you could make it, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. Um, or I just hope that you're having a good time in general if you're just with Tria and not actually listening. That's fine. Um, level four, Wander. Um, yeah. So there are places where our, like, science and repair skills are gonna be really useful. Um, and I am planning to have high science repair and speech skills, as well as sneak and melee. Um, I might get a high level in, like, guns or something, too. Um, but with science, I can actually use laser-based weapons. So I guess I should switch over to my laser guns, which I actually do have. I have a laser pistol. And it only has 32 shots. So yikes. Um, so let's see. Our, 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 but our, our bit much... Yeah, I get that. I think that's fair. Um, let's see. We have now made it over here. So in-game, um, if this game has a designated route, which the Fallout games don't really have, they're, they're pretty open-ended, um, the main way that people would probably progress the story would be from them to go from here, which is Prim, over to that way, um, where you encounter some bugs if you're in the desert, uh, you encounter some bandits if you're on the road, and then you head over to an NCR outpost, or you head over to a town that's been taken over by Kaisar's Legion, and, um, 
I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess just say an audio trigger warning because, like, they're really kind of brutal in this game. Um, the first time that you see Kaisar's Legion, they have people crucified. And that's just, like, that's that's a lot. That's That's some really intense energy for the first time you encounter a faction. And also, they're literal slave lords. So they they enslave people, and I don't want anyone who is like unfamiliar with this game to go into that sort of shit um, and like not be ready for it. Uh, I don't think that we're gonna go there immediately. I think that what we're gonna do is I think that we're gonna go and we're gonna mess around with the other stuff first. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna fight some bandits. We're gonna fight some giant ants, and then we're gonna head over to those statues. That very well might be all that we do today, because I don't know what time we're ending the stream. I suspect that it's going to be between 8 and 11, which is definitely enough time for us to do all of this stuff, and also head over to that place. I can't remember what that place is called off the top of my head, but that place is where we encounter the Legion for the first time. And, you know what? Fuck the Legion. I'm going to say something super controversial and, and political and say that, you know, slavery is bad. So, I'm not going to be fighting alongside those dickheads. In fact, I think that I'm probably going to try to kill them if I can. Um, that might be a little bit tough, though, but it would be very fun um, because I don't like the Legion. There's definitely some antagonists that I do kind of like, but not the Legion. The Legion are a bunch of fucking weebs and dickheads, and usually being one of those things is bad, and being both is just terrible. Um, so yeah, there's some assholes over there. I really wish I had a sniper rifle, because then I could have a lot more fun with this, but I can't get a sniper rifle until a little bit later than this. Um, I think it's probably gonna be in our next stream when I actually get my hands on a sniper rifle. Um, I don't know where the first one to appear in-game is, but it's definitely, like, not where I am. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate. I, I really like sniper rifles in this game. I'm also a pretty good shot with sniper rifles in this game, which is something that I actually really like. Um, I feel like it's much easier to be a good shot with sniper rifles in this game. Um, cool, that's a convict, so I don't feel bad shooting him. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and return. Um, and I am going to grab... I really do need to get like a better gun than this. Um, come on. Come on, there we go. Love it here. Um, okay, and there should be another one too. Um, there he is. Oh, those are the people I thought they, those are the people I was talking about earlier. Um, that's one of the gangs in this game. Oh, <laughs> let's go cannibalism, baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, you're gonna take the stim pack, thank you. Um, so, there are some assholes over there. Um, if, look, if I'm gonna get the cannibal perk, I'm gonna use, like, the perk. Uh, just like, if when we play Skyrim again, if I get Namira's ring, I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna be excited about it, but I mean, like, okay, so, I can kind of see one of them, I think. Um... I'm going to go ahead and search you first, um, take your dynamite and your junk food, um, and then, okay, so uh, there's caution, let me see if I can just, I'm going to try and lob dynamite over there, um, I think that would be a more fun way to proceed, oh, okay, apparently they have seen me, but that's fine, I've already tossed my dynamite, um, did that kill someone? I think it might have killed someone, but, like, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> okay, it did kill someone. Apparently it killed a lot of someone, so, I mean, love it here. Um, one of the things I like in Fallout 4 is that, like, there's a lot more explosive guns than there are in this one. Uh, not explosive guns, although there are. Um, in Fallout 4, there's a lot more explosive cars than there are in this one, because some cars, if a car is in, like, good repair and you damage it, the cars will explode, and some cars explode in a nuclear way, which I think is really cool. Um, and the reason they explode in a nuclear way is because they are canonically powered 
um, by like a nuclear core. Uh, in the universe that Fallout takes place in, um, nuclear power proliferated much more than it did in the United States, which is one of the reasons why their specific fucking apocalypse, which was a nuclear apocalypse, was much more devastating um, than it probably should have been if they hadn't been a nuclear-powered society. Some of their robots, and especially in Fallout 4, are actually nuclear-powered, which is really neat. Um, okay, I am gonna need you to stop. Uh, God, okay, this is starting to get really annoying. Uh, I'm gonna take out my baseball bat and uh, kindly ask you to stop. <laughs> I like how the second I take it out, she starts running away. She's like, oh shit. Um, let's see. Oh, you're running. <laughs> there was an attempt. Um, okay, I can go ahead and just kill you from over here. Um, however, if I want to get everything in here, I'm going to have to go ahead and open this. Um, there are also um, some of these assholes who are actually really big. Um, I'll go ahead and take your playing cards, uh, your bottle cap, and that'll be it. Um, there is another one somewhere. Where is that other one? I'll go ahead and take the Mentats. Um, are you in here? You are not in here. Okay, so this is a very easy lock, so I should be able to just sort of finagle my way around this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I just immediately, I open the door and I immediately swing my bat. <laughs> Love it here. Um, okay, so these ones provide radiated water, and I hate that. Um, and I think that's actually everything here. Uh, that's a book. Or no, that's a magazine. It's not a book. Um, magazines provide you with um, temporary buffs to your skills, which might allow you to pass skill checks. Or they might allow you to do more damage or heal more damage done to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep for one hour. And in this game, that means that I get all of my health back. Love it here. Um, ammunition box, I'll go ahead and take this, and then here's a repair bench, which I could just use. <laughs> Bathroom scary. <laughs> I mean, honestly, mood. Um, alright, so now we're back out in the Mojave Desert. Um, those were the only bandits that we were going to encounter along our way, I think. Um, I played this game enough that I have at least a little bit of familiarity with, like, the basic layout if you're playing the game, I guess, the way that, like, it's supposed to be played. If you're going, like, a speed run but without doing exploits or whatever. So, basically, the, I guess, the basic person route is something that I know pretty well. We're about to encounter our first ants, although there's also a bark scorpion. Ooh. Goodness, I did not see that Bark Scorpion until I was, like, right on his ass. Um, <laughs> also, thick-ass bugs are scary. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be encountering ants over here. Although, I might be misremembering this because there's also a quest where you have to escort someone down and you encounter ants over here. Um, I think that this might be the first place that you encounter the fire-breathing insects. Because they're also fire-breathing giant ants. Basically, if it's like wildlife in the Mojave Desert, um, there's a very good chance that at some point radiation gave it the ability to breathe fire. Which, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like there's probably like some sort of meaning to that, and I just don't get it. Um, these are people who are just here vibing. Um, there are also giant scorpions. Yeah, and the giant scorpions are fucking terrifying, and they also kill me a lot. Um, okay, this one doesn't have what I'm looking for, which is unfortunate, so I don't really need anything uh, from you. Let's see. Um, oh, you're just a mercenary. You're just vibing. <laughs> it's like Australia. <laughs> uh, one of my best friends lives in Australia. She's doing her best. She's an American who doesn't like America. And I mean, honestly, Mood, like, I'm not, that's not me casting judgment on her. I feel like that's something that, like, she says about herself, like, one of the first things when she introduces uh, herself to people. She just, like, lets people know straight up front, not a fan of the United States. And honestly, that's just a Mood. I completely understand that. Um, also, at some point, I do plan to play Among Us, but I have never played it yet, even though I have it. Um, 
I haven't had that much free time, and I do want to play Among Us. I would like to play Among Us with friends. Um, so that's a thing that's going to happen eventually at some point in the future. Um, let's see. Let's see. Any work around here? I'm going to... There's a bunch of quests that you can get here. Um, technically, if you wanted to head over down to um, the place that's on fire, although you can't see the fire just yet, um, you would have been able to complete one of the quests when you came here the first time. I didn't feel like doing that because, as I mentioned earlier, um, holy shit, there's a lot going on there. Uh, I like how this prospector's walking like they're, they're kind of drunk. Um, Among Us is fun. You're... <laughs> Listen, Tria, I doubt you're terrible at it, okay? I think that, like, those of us here... Honestly, one of my concerns is that, like, I don't know if I'd be really bad at Among Us or really good. And I'm not sure which is worse. Um, also, Among Us is one of the few games that Jessica's played, which I think is really neat. Let's see, it didn't sound... You Courier, um, depends on the work. A uh, Nipton is the name of that town. That got super fucked up. Um, I'll, okay, I'll do it. Um, and then that's one of the quests that we need to do. Not one of the quests we need to do, but, like, it's good to get money. And also, completing the quest is a good way to start to meet people from this faction. Also, this place is the best companion in the game. And I have a feeling when we see them, people are going to know why I think that. It's very predictable. Um, so let's see. Uh, I quite like what I've seen from Among Us. I just haven't played it yet. This is not where the companion is. And I, oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you know me well, you probably know just at a glance um, why I was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what the quest is to like recruit her, um, but I'm trying to remember. Um, I actually think that you might just be able to talk to her and get her as a companion. Um, let's see. Anything you can tell me? Um, I'm going through all of her, like, stuff because, God, I don't remember how to recruit her. Um, I'll ask you, um, go, okay. So, yeah. Um, like, bad habits, what's on your mind? Why are you here at the bar? Um, okay, I wanted to ask you about something else. Any work around here? Let's see. Up, 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 up. Running and gunning sounds interesting. Um, any other work? Sniper on the roof. Jesus. How is it? Okay, I guess I have to go over to New Vegas to be able to recruit her as a companion, which sucks. That's probably incorrect. I could have sworn that you were able to get her to join your party and be like a homie for a while. Um, there's a caravanner. NCR Trooper. I'm pretty sure that, like, um, this person has a quest for me. So let's see. Any work around here? Um, okay. Anything you can tell me? Bop, bop, bop. Um, I was hoping... Okay, what do you have to trade? Um, heartache by the number. Yep, that's what that, that makes sense. Um, weapons. Do you have a sniper rifle? You do not have a sniper rifle. Dang it. Um, although this one right here, the bladed gauntlet's a very good weapon, but I don't really need it. Um, let me actually see if she has any stealth packs. Because the stealth pack, dang, I, I really, I, I'm going to have a lot of fun, and y'all are going to have a lot of fun, probably watching me die as I try to do a really specific thing over in Nipton. Because every single chance that I get when I'm in Nipton for the first time, I do this thing. Um, the plasma weapons are very good. And in all honesty, I actually might just come back and get a plasma weapon in a second and some ammunition. Because my science score is nice and beefy. Um, so the main building is over here, which is where we can go. Um, there's a thing I love doing every single chance I can to uh, caravan citizen uh, courier. Yep. All right, so then let's see. Uh, you didn't. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. So the confirmed bachelor. Whenever you see that, because some of the friends here are not super familiar with the fall with the Fallout games and this one specifically. Um, whenever you see a like perk that you have in brackets and then a speech option, that means that you have unlocked that speech option by having that specific perk. 
and one of the ones that I have is the Confirmed Bachelor, which um, I guess, like, in lore means that my character is um, at the very least romantically attracted to men, um, but also, like, it means that he does more damage to men, and the overwhelming majority of human enemies in this game are male, so I figured that, like, I would just have that. Um, you also can have the other perk, which functions for ladies, and that one is called the Lady Killer if you're a man. Um, for female characters, the two names are Chez La Femme for ladies, which is French, and then Black Widow for men. So they do the same functions, but they unlock different things for different characters. And I just really think that that's neat. Um, so let's see. Um, also, apparently, this is a place where Major Knight, who is at least a little bit into men, judging from the options and his dialogue just now, um, apparently this is not a place where he feels that he can, like, pursue those sorts of relationships, which is unfortunate. But yeah. Um, okay. Uh, need repairs. I don't need repairs. Have a nice night, Major Knight, although it's technically midday in this game. Um, and Major and tro Trooper and tro Trooper... Let me also go and look up Heartache by the Numbers and have that. Um, I will definitely do that, especially because I already made a connection to the Crimson Caravan. Anyway, um, there's Major Trooper. I'm just looking through all of the stuff, so that way I can be sure that if there are any possible quests here, I can accept them. Ranger Jackson. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm also going to take a second to take a sip of water. And if you haven't been drinking water, drink your fucking water. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, sounds like a deal? Cool. So, with this quest, um, yeah, so with this quest, um, what you do, that's the escort quest that I mentioned earlier, where you escort the caravan. Um, oh, you don't escort the caravan. Um, you go and you fight the bugs, and you fuck them up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that. That is the easiest quest for us to go ahead and do right now. Um, and then we're gonna head over to Nipton, and, um, Nipton is a place, um, I'm going to say the trigger warning that I mentioned earlier when we get closer to it, um, because I definitely don't want people seeing that shit unprepared. Um, what is this place? Just gonna go ahead. What are those statues of? Um, boop. Alright, cool. Um, so now we're gonna go down, we're gonna fight off some giant bugs, um, and we are gonna head over to Nipton, and then we'll head back here. We'll probably just fast travel, so that way we don't have to get footage of me just being really boring and chatting for a few minutes. Um, I don't remember if this game has a sprint, I don't think it does, um, but I do know that Fallout 4 has a sprint, which is very nice, and in order to use it, you use ability points or something. I don't remember what the AP actually refers to, but I think it's ability points. Um, also, I think that I might have just done a little bit of damage to myself <laughs> from that jump, which I mean, that's the, that's the big brain play. Um, you always gotta have a little bit of damage. <laughs> this isn't fucking Legend of Zelda. Okay, so yeah, um, we're gonna start to encounter some bugs. Also, they're moving, um, so that's cool. Come on, bugs, I wanna bash your brains in. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, today's chat, like, the whole energy, from me, from me pausing the game for a second and murdering some people, the whole, the whole chat has had a wild sort of energy. I am very unafraid of these giant fucking bugs. <laughs> Melee, baby! <laughs> Bob and weave, boys. Bob and weave. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, apparently there's still at least one more. Okay, no, there's a few more. But yeah, we are... <laughs> I definitely went into this with an unusual sort of energy for me. Um, Alright, there's one of them. Why are you stuck in the wall? Uh, cool, 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 cool. Come on. There we go. Um, I wonder if that's the last one, but I don't think it is. It's not. I could see I could see on my little map that there's at least one more. Where is it? There you are. Okay. Yeah. Also, if you're ever fighting like a bug and you think that it might be too much of a giant fucking dickhead for you to be able to take out on your own, 
Um, one of the big tips that I have for you as someone who's played this game a whole lot is to go into VATS and to aim for its antenna. If you shoot its antenna and you disable it, um, some insects will go berserk and they'll start attacking everyone, which is really neat. Um, so that's just a little tip. Um, I don't use VATS all that often. I mostly use VATS as a way to detect enemies whenever I am like close enough to them to. Um, I wonder if we're going to be able to see some of the fire breathers if we go over here. I do think that we should be able to. Um, I am very unafraid of these dickheads. Um, yeah. And I'm definitely unafraid of the smaller ones. <laughs> you can call me the exterminator. <laughs> I'm loving it here. Um, yeah. The, the only real dangerous insects, even for low-level players, as long as you know even a little bit of how to play this game, are the giant insects. And even they, like, as long as you have some weapon that won't run out of ammo, you should be fine taking on them. Um, as long as you're not, like, as long as you're not going out of your way to play, like, the worst fallout of your life or whatever. I can't believe that doing that was what made us hit level. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, so let's see. I am going to go ahead and get my science to level 50, and I'm going to spend the rest of this on sneak. Um, I should probably try to level up once more. Um, oh yeah, the Cosadors. Fuck the Cosadors. I detest them so much. Um, What's funny is that, like, the way that we're doing things right now, we might actually enter Nipton, like, uh, through the back, which isn't the way that you're supposed to enter it, but if you go over there, you fight some bandits, <laughs> and let me tell you, those bandits would fuck me up. Um, I prefer melee, and I'm much better at melee than I am at, like, gun stuff, unless I have a sniper rifle. Don't mind me while I just talk into my fucking drink for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I actually think that that's like one of the first times that I have drunk my soda like all day, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fuck up this ant. Um, I don't feel like dealing with its shit. Um, are there other ants? None. Oh, there are some other ants that are coming after me. Come on, fellas, let's do this. I actually think that I'm about to encounter some of the bigger ones, so here we go. Um,. Encountering a few of the bigger ones at once is, like, probably not the best move. Um, <laughs> senile old man just runs in circles swinging his bat. Um, sometimes when you're trying to take out bugs, that's what you gotta do. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, these are some of the bigger ones. Okay. Oh, it's only one bigger one. Okay. Let's see. Cool. Gonna, gonna fuck you up. Fuck you up. Fuck you up. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Oh, oh, there's another one. Nice. Good job, buddy. You almost got me. I am very unafraid. Yeah, there are definitely monsters in this game that, like, would absolutely fucking obliterate me. Um, if I were to encounter a centaur... Uh, super mutant, depending on the type of super mutant and how fast I had to respond. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, other really big boys. Uh, the Death Laws would absolutely, like, they would have my ass for dinner. Um, so there's definitely things that I will avoid taking on, but I don't remember if you come across the Death Law in the main game, like, in the storyline missions once. You probably do, because, like, they're a mainstay of this game. Um, but, like, I, I don't remember specific instances where you do, which is really telling. Um, so yeah. So now we are over at the rear end of Nipton. Let me make sure I'm not being followed by anything. Uh, cool. I am not being followed by anything. Um, the reality is another really good moment for, <laughs> look at these, Brahm. Um, <laughs> you do, uh, from Sloan. Do you... Is Sloan a part of, like, the main quest in this game? Probably. I don't remember this game. Like, I don't remember, like, ultra specifics of this game. Um, North... Yeah, but, like, <laughs> that is... Do you have to go to Sloan for, like, the main quest line? I don't remember you having to go there for, like, the main quest line. 
Um, there's stuff you can do in Sloan. Um, you can go and you can fuck up the um, Deathclaw breeding grounds, which is always fun. I think that we might be about to encounter a centaur. Oh, no, it's further down. <laughs> So yeah, um, I was not brave enough to go there the first time. Um, that was enemy music, but there are no enemies around. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, we are now in Nipton, but we are in Nipton's like rear end. Um, normally, there's an asshole who runs up to you and is like, Yo, I won the lottery! And um, what that means is... So Kaiser's Legion does this thing where they enter a town. Um... They hold a lottery, and if you win the lottery, you get to live. Um, if you get second place, they break your legs, but you get to live. And I think, like, everyone else dies in different ways. Um, so, also, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this now. Um, we're gonna see, like, people being crucified and stuff. And so I don't want anyone to go into that unprepared. Um, if you just want to hang out in the chat and not actually watch the gameplay... I understand that right now. I'll tell you when we're out of Nipton. Um, one of the things I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to kill Velope the Fox, um, or whatever the fuck his name is, because he's a dickhead, and killing him really pisses off Kaiser's Legion. And I like doing things that piss them off. They suck. So, here we go. Um, yep. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and tell everyone when we're out of here if you aren't feeling up to seeing this. Um... In a second, there is that asshole. Um, I am detected right now, but honestly, a part of me wants to say fuck it and try to try to get him anyway. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think that I'm gonna take any chances with this. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna see what my new level is. Let's see what my new name is. Citizen. Nice. Um, okay, cool. He's not running at me. Um... Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. I don't think that that is going to work, so we're going to load. Damn, I really wish I had a sniper rifle. Um, I really want to kill this guy, like, right out the bat. Um, they detect me, so there's no real point in hiding. But they're also not hostile, which is a mistake. Um, because I'm hostile towards them. Um, okay, so let's see. I wonder if I can kill him if I get it, like, dead ass on him. I think that I probably might be able to kill him if I get one or two, but that fucking dog is in the way, and if I fire, that's definitely gonna kill me. Okay, I'm gonna move. Okay, um... Oh, dang it! <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> okay... Okay, ah, dang it. Come on, go ahead and get my menu. Um, it's definitely worth doing this if I can drop his punk ass immediately. F fuck this guy. Um, uh, let's see. Dang it. Okay, I need you. He has some fucking weapon, and I, I'm not fucking living for him shooting at me right now. Um, I, how can I best kill him? I'm going to assume that the incinerator is probably the weapon that does the most. Uh, come on, come on. Yes! Got him! Haha! <laughs> Punk ass. Um, so, because a lot of people here are not super familiar with this game, I'll go ahead and explain who that guy was. He is the major quest giver for Kaisar's Legion, and he's a real dickhead. Um... So, he made the mistake of being a dickhead in a game where I'm trying to not be a real dickhead. Um, and it turns out that's very unwise. And now, I'm gonna run. <laughs> also, some of those guys are really hurt. So, you know what? Fuck it. Um, which one of you is the one that's hurt? Uh, you're not the one that's hurt. It must be you. Yeah, it is you. Okay, cool. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, now that I know which one of you it is... Because I still have a grenade rifle. <laughs> Die. Um, okay, cool. Um, and now you're almost dead, so I am going to go after you with a tire iron. Um, <laughs> nice. Um, nice. 
I almost died, but I still did it, and now they hate me, and you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that, because fuck Kaiser's Legion. Um... So let's see what I can go ahead and take from this dickhead. I'll take his weapon because it's actually really good, and I'm not gonna lie, it almost fucking got me. Um, I'll also take his armor. Um, so in this game, there's a really funny thing that happens with armor. Um, with armor that belongs to a faction, you can wear the armor and you can be disguised as that faction. Now, I don't intend to be hated by a bunch of factions unless they're fucking dickheads. Um, so I will be hated by Kaiser's Legion, and I'll be hated by the people who kidnap people and then cannibalize them. Um, and if you're gonna get mad at me and be like, oh, Luciano, your character's a cannibal, uh, I'm going to point out that my character might be a cannibal, but also, like, he doesn't kidnap people and murder them like those assholes do. I think they're called, like, the White Masks or something. Zal knows, um, this game's lore pretty well, or at least, like, better than I do, so he probably knows which faction I'm talking about. But they're one of the casino people, and they're real dickheads. Fuck them. There's a quest where, like, you help them out, um, by, like, kidnapping a boy. Um, and by a boy, I mean, like, someone older than me. But you kidnap, like, a strapping young lad. And, um, you murderize him. And we're not gonna do that quest. We're gonna help out his- we're gonna help out that guy's dad, who's like, Yo, what happened to my son? Um, we're gonna be like, we got you, fam. And we're gonna figure out what happened to his son. And then we're gonna kill a whole bunch of the cannibal peeps, because they're dickheads. Um, at the very least, I only, like, eat bad people, um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and devour this man. Um, <laughs> I gained a whole bunch of karma <laughs> by helping me, by, like, killing the Legion, and now I'm gonna lose a whole bunch of karma because I ate them. <laughs> but yeah, fuck this guy. I, I feel no regrets, um, for dropping his ass in the brutal and hilarious way that I did. Um, so yeah, <laughs> fuck him. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give this man some of my armor. Um, so that way, here, he can have, um, uh, my, he can have this, and he can have, let me see, um, do I have any more cool stuff, um, that I can give him? If I give him these... Let me see what happens if I just give him 10 of these. Nice. Okay. Um, so then I'll also go ahead and give him this. Nice. Um, cool. So now we can go ahead and exit. Yeah, I'm no longer over encumbered. Um, there are, there's some stuff I can do in here, but first I'm going to go and I'm going to find a house. Um, we absolutely bodied a whole bunch of people, and honestly, I'm surprised that this went as well as it did. Mm. But yeah, um, the in-game lore for this area is that Kaiser's Legion is expanding its interests. They're getting ready to combat the NCR for control over the Hoover Dam, a very real thing if you don't know what that is. Um, and in order to do that, they are expanding across the Mojave Desert, and they're building up um, little outposts. They wanted to use Nipton to strike fear into the hearts of the NCR, and they didn't count on Valentois Stick being here and being like, Hey, I'm a dickhead, but you're bigger dickheads than me, um, so fuck you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> kill these guys, which is objectively an act of mercy, which is the reason I'm doing it. Um, sorry guys, but you were definitely suffering being there, um, and that's not cool. Also, I don't know why that one took three hits to kill. All of the other ones only took two. Um, there is a guy in here who is one of the people who didn't win the lottery. Um, he got second place, so they broke his legs. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to him. Let's see. Uh, let's see. First, to get my legs smashed. Um, oh, that's right. I'm hated by the um, powder gangers. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see um i don't have any medics um let's see how did you survive i'm pretty sure that there's a medicine check that you can pass um that will allow you to let's see lucky losers oh that's right there were people who got decapitated i forgot about them um then came the crucifixions um that's right third placers got enslaved um, and then, let's see, what happens to the mayor? 
um, he was alive, and then some of the people were enslaved. I'll do what I can to save them. Um, and then, let's see. Yeah. Uh, from... T <laughs> um, honestly, our crew, Atria, can probably handle... Um, we, we should be fine, not least of all because we have, like, a ton of extra peeps with us. So, uh, if worse comes to worst, um, or if I suspect that worse comes to worst, I can just have my character recommend that, like, I'd be like, hey, you guys should go and avenge your homies, um, and we'll be behind you providing support. Moral support. Um, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go into the Snipton house. I'm gonna see if there's a bed that I can sleep in for an hour. Um, also, there very well might be explosives in here. And if I come across even one explosive, I'm probably fucked. Um, okay, cool. Sleep W. Here we go. Now we're back to full health. Love it here. Um, gonna take these bottle caps. I have no idea how much money I have, like, in this. In this. Um, it's worth noting that every faction... Um, every major faction has their own source of money. I think the only major faction that doesn't have, like, its own distinct currency are, um, the New Vegas peeps. But then the NCR has NCR dollars, and, um, the Legion has the Legion Denaris, um, which is, um, Roman weeb for coins. Um... <laughs> I actually really like the Roman culture, but, like, this is, like, obviously a bastardization of it. So I don't feel bad calling them Roman weebs. Um, in Philosophy's game, which is where I am, which is where my character is John um, Mondragon, um, the culture is, like, an appropriate... The culture is not an appropriation, but it's, like, an approximation of Roman culture mixed with, like, actual magic and stuff. So I think that Roman culture is really neat. Um, it's just that these assholes are just like, hey, we're gonna emulate the Roman Empire, and we think that's sexy, and we're gonna be huge dicks about it, and have a huge emphasis on the slavery part. So, yeah, I don't, I, I don't like this game's version of it. Um, go away, Scorpion. <laughs> oh no, I'm not wearing clothes again. <laughs> I didn't even realize I wasn't wearing clothes. Um, also, apparently my hat's broken. Hate it here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wear my armor jumpsuit. There should be another enemy somewhere. Um, let's see. But yeah, okay. Um, also, Tria, I'm extremely excited for your game. Um, on Thursday, it might actually be um, the first day that I have my new computer. Um, so that's really exciting. Also, I'm pretty sure this asshole actually was able to get a few stings on me. So, I mean, good for it, I guess. Um, just needed a filler. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I'm very excited for the games. Um, I am looking forward to seeing what sort of silliness we get up to. Um, I don't know why there's a pile of ashes here. Apparently, some Legion dickhead got got, which is hilarious. Um... <laughs> That's great. Um, you guys can probably hear uh, my roommate's dog now. <laughs> Rhino says hi, and yes, that is his name. Because I know I didn't mention that before, and it surprised some people. Um, I mentioned that on another live stream, but also I think I probably mentioned it earlier today. Um, because earlier today, we were talking about Rhino for like two seconds on the YouTube um, chat. If you weren't able to make the YouTube and you were able to come here... Um, I hope you know that at one point, um, some new people stopped by, three new people stopped by actually, although I only acknowledged comments, um, by two of them, because one of them just said that I looked high, and I mean, honestly, that's probably fair. I don't know what it means to look high, um, but if someone tells me that I look high, I'm just gonna accept that at face value. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so some new people stopped by. They might have been trolling. At least one of them. I think one of them was trolling, but the other person seemed sincere. And I hope that they continue to stop by because it was really funny to read their comments. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm now waiting. So over there, there's some bandits who stop by and they're just like, surprise, motherfucker. And I don't feel like dealing with their bullshit, which is the reason why I'm running through the desert. Oh. They're over there. Um, they're inside that little house, 
If I had a sniper rifle, I'd probably deal with their bullshit, but I don't have a sniper rifle, and I don't feel like getting into a gunfight. Um, especially after I went to so much work to... Um, also, I see that my stream is buffering. I hope... Cool, it's still going live. I guess it was just buffering on my end. But yeah. Um, I think... Alright, also, there's some insects over there, apparently. That's great. Um, let me go over here and just deal with these insects. Um, I don't feel like having you guys be around, so I am gonna deal with you. Um, kindly fuck off. Um, there we go. Um, there's another one. Ooh, this one's one of the big ones. Come on, big boy, let's go! <laughs> I am not respecting these ants at all. Um, okay. So let's see, there's some more over here. You can call me the exterminator. Um, I'm 90% sure I made that joke already. But yeah, cool, we did it. Um, now we can continue going over here. And then there's just a whole bunch of... <laughs> I love how there's just a whole bunch of bodies over there. <laughs> That's great. Um, also, originally you are supposed to talk to Volpes, but I didn't even feel like interacting with him. I, fe I just felt like immediately murdering his ass. Um, if you interacted with him, he would tell you, it's like, hey, um, we'll let you live, and in exchange, um, take this message to the NCR. Um, we are the masters of this territory, or something. Or, like, I can't remember if it was like that, or if he was like, we are coming, ha 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 ha, I'm an evil villain. Um, it was something like that. It was unimportant. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna be able to go and be like, yo, Nipton was set on fire, and shit sucks. Sucks to suck, I guess. I think that I'm probably gonna spend the night in the outpost, and then, like, um, go the day. Um, go the next day, and, like, travel through the area behind Nipton. After Nipton, if you continue on the road, like, the way the game, I just kind of wants you to go that's really more freeform than that but like that's the main obvious route um if you go down that canyon you come across a whole bunch of bandits and then after that you come across i think you get into a town but before then you actually encounter um the enslaved people that the guy that we came across earlier who said that his legs were broken was talking about um you can free them um, there are a number of ways that you can do it, but if you free them, if I remember correctly, the Legion automatically goes hostile towards you. But also, I'm vilified by the Legion, so they're just gonna attack me on sight. Um, so we don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna talk to you first. Uh, let me make sure. Cool, you didn't give me any quests. Um, is there? Okay, cool. I was trying to remember if there was a way to sheath my weapon. Uh, I'm gonna go up there. Yeah! Um, also... I hope that everyone has fun plans for the rest of the night. Um, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up doing it for like another hour, so we end the stream like right around 9 p.m. EST. Um, we might go a little bit later than that. Let's see. Nipton was attacked by the Legion. Um, bop -ba -da -bop. Um, and then um, didn't mean to be the bearer of bad news, yada, yada, yada. Um, cool. And then that should have increased our reputation with the Legion a little bit. Or not with the Legion. Yep. With, uh, with the NCR. Um, and now we are going to go over here and we're going to say, it's like, yo, we cleared the road. And I think that'll be it for right now. Although I think that might actually be enough for us to like um who who gave me the quest oh it wasn't him it was the guy who's in here there you are um cool you mentioned a reward um let's see and then i should yep i just got a whole bunch of stuff and apparently it made me it made me too heavy <laughs> okay so let me see what i can get rid of um let's see there's i can get rid of this weathered pistol um, how is it that I get... Okay, I got a left... If I left-click it, that's how I get rid of it. Cool. Um, and now, I guess we will go ahead and... Instead of just going the night, honestly, fuck it. We're just gonna go ahead and fast travel over to Nipton. And then we are going to... Let's go over here, fast travel to Nipton. And we are gonna make our way down. So, yeah. Um... 
we might actually get to meet Bone, who is a really easy companion to unlock. You just have to complete a quest with him, and then you can get him as your homie. He's a former NCR service member whose wife was kidnapped by Legion people. Um, he asks you for help in determining who is the person who like enslaved his wife, and once you help him, he becomes your homie. Um, he has a sniper rifle and is very cool. Um, let's see... You have mug cakes. What's a mug cake? Did I say that correctly? I'm not even sure if I did. Um, but yeah, so we're not going to go and deal with all the shooty bandits. I don't feel like dealing with that bullshit. Um, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and go around, actually. Um, we're going to do the big brain stats, strats. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I do think that, like... As the night goes on, I probably will start to pay more attention to the polls. Um, you put cake mix in a mug, mix it with milk, and then microwave it. Huh. Nice. Um, so yeah, I think that that's probably what I'm going to do later tonight. Um, I'm going to be talking to my family tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be seeing how they're doing. I actually spoke to them today. Um, my, my family and I get along, but like we don't talk extremely often. Um, aside from, like, moments, like, right now, um, in which case we're usually just like, hey, are we doing okay? Um, I feel like we do, like, the bare minimum when it comes to that sort of thing, which is good. The bare minimum is more than a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, <laughs> right now I'm just sneaking up. <laughs> I think that at some point I'm going to be getting my sneak up to 100. Um, also, I wouldn't be surprised if we still do encounter bandits. Like, I can see a bandit over there. Um, I can't see him anymore, but I can see him as I was talking. Um, I can see him over there, unless that's a cactus, which it very well might be. Um, so for right now, we're just gonna be vibin'. Um, I completely get that, Tria. You know how my family is. I know how your family is. I feel you. Um, so yeah. So there is that. Oh, okay, apparently someone, <laughs> apparently someone sees me. Oh, oh shit, Okay. Um, someone has the big guns. Ooh, scary. Um, also, they got my head, which is just... Oh, man. <laughs> that sucks, you know? Um, I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and give myself a stim pack. Where are you? And what sort of weapon are you... What are you using? Oh, my goodness. It's a fucking grenade launcher. Of course it is. Uh, you're a dick. Fuck you. Um, cool. <laughs> I am, I am the only one who is good at melee. I'm gonna take that grenade launcher, though. That's exciting. Um, because that means that I can repair my own grenade launcher. <sighs> Love it here. Um, oh no, it's a grenade rifle. <laughs> is that the one that I have? I, if it's all, if the one I have is a grenade rifle, it should still work. Even if it's like, yo, mercenaries gun rifle. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'll go ahead and take this then, and um, that'll be it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and exit, and then we're going to go over here, go to weapons, and we are going to use this to repair. Oh, apparently it was a full, but that's fine. Um, so let's see. going to go ahead and take your stuff. Um, you don't have anything useful. So then let's see. Um, there's also another one over here, apparently. Where are you? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're over there. As long as I don't have a fucking grenade launcher like that asshole did, I should be fine. Um, oh, well, that's not fun. Um, so let's see, gonna go over to stats, gonna go over to status. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead, do this, this, this. That sucks. Um... Okay, it would not be a bad idea for me to stop and get some more medical supplies, which is something I fully plan to do. Um, Alright, I guess that was all the bandits that we needed to fight. Um, something that I'm kind of worried about is, like, this general area, this area and the area, like, up ahead are where people start to encounter Night Stalkers. And Night Stalkers scare me, Luciano the person, so I'm not looking forward to that shit at all. Um, let's see how this goes. Very interested. I did walk into that mine. I don't care. 
um, I was able to walk it off. Um, and sometimes that's all you can do, you know? Um, so <laughs> I walked into that mine, I barely acknowledged it, and I just kept on going. <laughs> no matter what you say about Valentois, he's a fighter. <laughs> okay, so then open ammunition box. Gonna go ahead and take these ammos. Um, gonna go ahead, head over here. Um, this area does have a little dungeon in it. I just can't remember what the exact makeup of the dungeon is. I think it's probably ants. Um, or this might actually just be a settlement with people, but I'm pretty sure it's not just a settlement with people. Let's see. Um, there's nothing here. Um, there is a bed though. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fucking sleep. <laughs> there's some flamer fuel for my incinerator. I'll take this bobby pin. Um, here's another ammo box. Um, th ooh, there's a varmint rifle. Nice. Um, okay, so let's... Oh, I didn't mean to take that machete. Um, but since it happened, that's fine. Um, let's see. Gonna go ahead, head on over here. Um, come on. I am glad that, like, me and my friends are doing streams tonight, though. Because I think that, like, doing streams is actually really helpful for people who sort of just can't cope with the shit going on in the election right now, which honestly is a lot of us. There's a lot of shit that I just can't cope with, so, like, this isn't me, like, trying to, like, say anything about anyone. Um, and I'm just very glad that I have this sort of outlet, even if it's a silly one where I just sort of goof off with my friends and I run around like a headless chicken. Sometimes running around like a headless chicken is enough. Um, there's a random bridge. Let's see. Okay, this. We should be starting to get close to the area where we can find the enslaved powder gangers. Um, honestly, if I can kill, um, if I can kill the um, Legion dickheads with just this, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like Radiation Central. Um, which is not the name of the, which is not the actual name of the area, but it's a town where the Legion dropped a fucking radiation bomb and turned a whole bunch of people into ghouls and killed a ton of other people. And, like, there's a quest, um, that I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the people, um, start to spawn in right now, but it's, like, NCR people who are just like, yo, if you're heading into there and you get, um, you get, like, the dog tags of these people go ahead and um, give them back to us and we'll pay you. Um, it's a really nice little quest if you just want to gain some like NCR reputation, which is really necessary for a lot of stuff. I don't know if we're going to go the NCR route. We very well might go the house route or um, the like yes man route. The only thing I know for sure is we're not going the fucking Legion route because, as I said before, fuck the Legion. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this doctor's bag. Very useful to have one of those. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else here of use? Nope. Um, there is a person running, though. Ooh, apparently that's an enemy person. What are you running from? <laughs> Whoa. What was that? <laughs> oh, no. Hate it here. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, that sucks. Um, okay. <laughs> that was honestly really funny. I I was genuinely surprised by that. That's fine, though. Um, okay, so there are some NCR people with explosive weapons over here. Why? Where are you? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, they do have guns. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I have two stim packs. I'm not afraid. Um, so one of those assholes has like a machine gun. Who has the explosive weapon? That's the thing that keeps on fucking me up. Um, okay, do you have the explosive weapon? I'm gonna go ahead and finish you off if you do. Um, I like how I'm also not close enough that, um, honestly, Zal, I, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be disappointed. Um, <laughs> I did not fucking hesitate. Um, alright, are you the person with the explosive weapon? Um, I'm just gonna have to go and buy some grenades, um, at a later date. I'm pretty sure the person with the explosive weapon is still alive. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that it's one of the people over there. Alright, so then. Cool, I got rid of the person who's shooting at me with the machine gun. Um, however, the person with the explosive weapon is almost certainly still alive. So, first of all, I am going to go ahead and use... I have a super stim pack, but I'm not going to use that just yet. Let's see what I have. I'm going to use healing powder. Okay. There is someone over here who has an explosive weapon. Um, yep, there is someone over here with an explosive weapon. Um, okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what I can do about that asshole. All right. It's... Aha! It is you. You, my friend, have made a mistake. Okay. You... <laughs> Thanks for coming into, like, vulnerable range, dickhead. Okay, come on. Let's see. So this is not a fun situation, but I still have two stim packs which is enough um, and let me see okay come on um, okay I'm just gonna have to wait until this person gets within range um, I'm down to three rifles I'm down to three grenades which is unfortunate um, so I walked into an ambush and the people who are ambushing me are having a very bad time unfortunately one of them does have a grenade launcher, which is, like, a lot. <laughs> um, but I didn't walk into any other explosives, if that's what you mean. Uh, come on, come on. Let's see. Okay, come on. You are not the one I'm looking for. Okay, so apparently uh, I can't hit the other one. Where is the other one? I think I might have killed the other one. Um, let's see. Come on. Where are you? Are you? Okay. I killed the one with the grenade. <laughs> there you go. Um, cool. Um, I killed the one with the grenade, which is the thing that matters. Fuck you. Um, of course you don't have any... I hate you, lady. I... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Uh, there you go. That's what you deserve. Um, apparently one of you is still alive. Um, I I don't have time for you. I'm gonna need you to just fuck all the way off. Um, <laughs> I like how he died with like a smile on his face. <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that was really annoying. Um, but we're still alive. We are out of sim packs, but we're still alive. Let's see. Let's let's keep the silliness going. Um, cool. It is 8 p.m. on election night, at least where Jessica and I live, and which is also the same time zone as a bunch of my pals. Um, and that means that the polls have officially, or are officially about to close. That said. Um, if you happen to be standing in line and watching this, which I don't think is the case for anyone here, um, if you're in line, stay in line, um, but if not, I hope that you were able to vote, um, uh, where are you running? Um, let's see, the whole place is irradiated, um, station to camp searchlights, so let's see, yep, um, there are a few others, um, and then can I ask you something else? Um, head toward towards Novak. Yep, Novak is the town with the giant dinosaur, and um, I believe that we actually saw it in the opening cutscene, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's also where um, the next like major stop is for, I guess, like generalized plot. Um, the actual area that you want to go to if you're playing this game, and I guess you're trying to do it the right way, is. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a city filled with the, uh, like, new cons, or whatever their faction is called, and, um, it's where conflict between the NCR and the cons is happening, and you go there, and you help mediate the conflict if you have a high enough speech skill, it's entirely possible for you to mediate it peacefully, 
and for you to get everyone involved out of there without anyone dying. Um, I suspect that I already have a high enough speech skill, but I plan to level up my speech skill before then. Um, I plan to get it up to at least level 75 before I go over to the con place. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the next big things that I plan to do with my next level up. Um, and yeah, I don't know why everything got all green. Um, I mean, I kind of know why everything got all green, but I think it's weird that it happened after I left the area where everything should be all green, so. <laughs> I honestly wonder what this looks like to people who are watching the stream. Um, because, like, it's difficult for me to see the stream at the same time. There is everything back to normal. It's like the different, it's like in Breaking Bad where every time a scene is shot in Mexico, there's, like, a yellow tint. And every time a scene is not shot in Mexico, the colors are at least relatively normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, alright, cool. So then, here's some more road. Here's some more Legion. Um, they thought they were going to ambush me, but it turns out I was ready for them. Very excited to break their heads with my fucking um, swinging mace. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. I'm ready for you. Who are you fighting? Die. Fuck off. Fuck off. Very good at melee fighting. Come on. Very. I, I do not respect these legionaries at all. I don't give a fuck about their damage resistance. I'm just over here. I'm just over here bashing them anyway. I'm just like, look, I'm, I'm just trying to cause you pain. It's not even about causing you damage. Oh no, not my arm. That sucks. <laughs> All right. If I, I guess it's time for me to get. I guess it's time for me to get a little bit serious. Um, and by a little bit serious, I mean say hello to my rifle. Say hello to my rifle and my inability to aim. Okay, um, so that's one of them. Where did the other one go? <laughs> this is one of the weapons that I got when I helped the NCR earlier, so... Oh, you were hiding in the bush? That was really smart. <laughs> Tactical camouflage. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and use my knife now. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> I got fucked up by Night Stalkers. It happens, you know? Um, I don't think you're... <laughs> oh, no, I hate it here. Um, oh, shit, I'm over here. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. Um, okay, so in this case, we're gonna avoid the ambush. <laughs> I deeply dislike Night Stalkers in this game. Um, mostly because, like, my inability to notice them... If I remember correctly, like, they had the ability to turn invisible, and when they're invisible, they're also invisible to radar. When I was younger, I played this game, and I heavily relied on VATS. I haven't been doing that this stream, um, and I haven't been, well, I didn't do that really last time either. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna avoid the ambush. Um, let's see. What are we gonna do instead? What can we do so that way we don't have to deal with that shit? Um... There's uh, some traders. I hope they're having a nice day. Um, I heard shots in the background, so I mean, I suspect that their nice day um, is probably about to change. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna go to Novak instead, rather than go over. Um... <laughs> nice. Um, I'm gonna help them out. Okay, apparently I am not needed. Um, hello, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, let's see. I gained some more. I gained some more infamy. Oh no! Whatever will I do? I'm even more hated by them now. Okay, so it was over here where I encountered those night stalkers. Uh, the fact that it's at night doesn't fucking help. Um, let's see. So. Night stalkers are also like honestly kind of beyond my ability to take. 
right now unless I can like get the jump on them. If they get the jump on me, I'm just fucked. Um, and they probably will get the jump on me. So if I see them, I'm just gonna have to like not see them. <laughs> Or get the high ground in a place, like, where they can't fuck me up. But, like, as you guys saw earlier, I had, like, pretty decent health, and they just ripped me apart. Because Night Stalkers are just a little bit beyond me right now. We're also gonna encounter a glowing one. I think we're probably gonna find that asshole right down the road. Um, there's a bunch of enemies over here, so let me see. As if it's just people, I should be fine as long as these aren't assholes who have a fucking explosive weapon. Um, <laughs> I like how since I'm just keeping my distance, they're really unable to find me. <laughs> there we go. It's entirely possible that these might just be the same assholes who found me earlier, and I'm just supposed to fight them. I don't remember this game well enough to know. Um... If, like, that's not the T or whatever. Um, okay. So let's see. I'm about to find out if, if... If it's true that I'm just supposed to fight these assholes, then I'm about to find out. So let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, so that's another one. Um, this one doesn't have an explosive weapon. Um, so I was able to fuck him up pretty easily. There should still be another one. I could have sworn there were four. Oh well. <laughs> Love it here. Um, let's see. So far, I haven't gotten fucked up by Night Stalkers, so I'm gonna go ahead and press quick save. There we go. Love it here. Um, what's over here? More, more baddies? What kind of baddies? Oh, okay. I like how there's someone with a gun. And I'm still... Oh, it's a giant mole rat. Alright, come on, mole rat. <laughs> I, I hit him a few times, so he ran away. <laughs> I think he just recognized that the person who was shooting him from a distance was a bigger threat. Um, Alright, cool. So, none of you assholes... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my inventory. I still have a ton of stim packs since I didn't have to repair... Um, since I didn't have to repair, like, all the damage that was done to me earlier... Alright, so then, come on. Let me go ahead and take another stim pack. Um, yeah, now I'm down to one stim pack again, because of course. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Why are you here? Why do you exist? Um, Alright, so now there's just one. Now there are none. Cool. Um, so that's all the enemies dead. None of them had explosives, and I just leveled up. <laughs> We're level six! <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to get my uh, sneak up to 50, and then I'm going to put my one remaining point in speech. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Which one should I get? Um, let's see. Intense training. Um, let's see. Swift learner. Um, swift learner is a good one. Um, comprehension. Educated. Ooh, every time... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the Educated perk. So that way you get 15 points every level, which is really good. Um, I'm also gonna see if I can sit down and fucking rest somewhere. Um, I can make healing powder. Let me see if I can make... Ah, uh, dang, I can't make, like, stim packs or whatever. That's annoying. Um, okay. So, fortunately, I can do this. And this will recover all... Ah, oh, dang it. I thought that would have recovered all my health, but it's only sleeping in a bed that does that. Damn. <laughs> Hate it here. So there's so there's some more fighting. Those are probably the caravan peeps from before who are fighting against bandits up there. Um, I think. Let's see. Am I correct, or are they fighting against something else? Let's see. Uh, try to bur... <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's okay I have Jesus powers um resurrect there you go there you go um I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do that to all of y'all um I have I love Jesus powers okay also I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna help him out with you uh, fuck you 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Just gonna say fuck you in the face. Alright, fine. This guy doesn't want to die that way. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. Fuck you. <laughs> Every time an enemy is really annoying, I just, like, walk up close to them and I'm like, hey. Fuck you. Um. Gonna go ahead and use my Jesus powers. Um, which are always good to have. Resurrect. Resurrect. Nice. And, um, now we've made it over to the base that got super fucking destroyed. So, as, as y'all are gonna see in a second, um, the inside of this base has been super fucked up. If you come back here at a later date, you get, um, super ambushed. Um, but right now, all we should find, if I remember correctly, are mines and, like, a bed to sleep in, which I really need. Um, I'm glad you were able to take a nap, Jessica. <laughs> we're just over here. You missed me die earlier, and I almost died a few minutes ago. Honestly, um, it's been a rough day for, for Valentois. Um, okay, apparently I got here before the destruction happened. I don't remember when the destruction happens. Um, I'm looking for a bed <laughs> that I can sleep in. Can I talk to you? Okay, what was that about my caravan? Let's see. Um, mind if I take those extra supplies? I guess nothing. Um, we're also almost at Novak. Um, we're like most of the way towards Novak. We should be a few minutes of walking away, provided I don't get killed. Um, but I mean, me getting killed is entirely possible, so who fucking knows, you know? Um, sleep bed. I'm just gonna sleep for an hour, which is enough to recover all of my health. Love it here. Um, if I come back here at a later time, this place is super exploded. Um, and there's like mines and shit everywhere, because the Legion launches an attack. Um, I forgot that they hadn't already launched their attack, so I don't know when it actually happens in the game. It might happen when you make it to New Vegas, because when you make it to New Vegas, um, you can trigger an event that resets your um, relationship with all the factions, aside from factions um, that are, like, already your homies. But yeah, if you fuck up, like, Volpest, like I did, um, and you still want to do the Legion route for whatever reason, you actually can, even after getting vilified for killing all or most of the Legion that are inside of um, Nipton. So yeah, that's just a little thing that happens. That's the dinosaur we were talking about. There's a guy in that dinosaur who's honestly having a bit of a rough day. Um, there's actually two guys. One of them is having a rough day and one of them isn't. Um, we're looking for the one that's having a rough day. He's going to be our homie. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. We have officially made it. Um, this is also like one of the major areas in the game, so that's cool. Um, this is a little major story area, um, and then from here, we're actually not super far from New Vegas, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, we're in Novak. Love it here. Um, I honestly wonder, I'm probably gonna die again later on in the stream, because I'm gonna be trying to go into the ghoul facility, and I'm gonna be trying to do that quest line, which involves fighting super mutants, ghouls and glowing ones so yikes also there's victor <laughs> hey victor <laughs> cool <laughs> let's see um it's nice to see a friendly place um we're heading this way let's see um yeah um novak folk um, and then goodbye. Um, he's a robot. He's doing his best. I'm um, gonna go ahead and go in here. If I had a high enough unarmed skill, I'd be able to learn a technique from a guy who lives in one of these houses. Um, he's a ranger and he's doing his best. Um, but his best in his case isn't very good as he was forced into like an early retirement or something. I can't remember if that's exactly what happened to him. Um, there's Cliff Briscoe. We're not looking for him. Um, are you here? Oh, no, it's Manny. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, man. 
Um, all right, so let's see. Um, nice. Confirmed bachelor. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, cool. With confirmed bachelor, we're just able to skip um, his little quest. Nice. Boulder City is the name of the con place. Um, it's not actually the name of, like, the con, like, faction base. Um, that's a different place that we're gonna visit at a later point. Um, so let's see. Uh, alright, cool. Um, the only people, let's see. Okay, so he is going to ask us to do the, to do the ghoul quest. Um, as long as the ghouls are out of there, cool. Um, this specific ghoul faction are actually pretty chill. Um, they're, are they the children of the Atom, or is that a different group? Um, they're a cult, they're, they're a cult, but, like, they're just vibing. They're doing their best. Um, a lot of the outcomes for that are very bad. Um, especially if you don't have enough, like, skill points, or enough, like, resources to help them. Um, so, yikes. Um, I'm gonna try to do it, like, the good end route, which is where, like, everyone ends up happy, but I don't remember how to do all of that. I think I need to have a higher science score than I do. Um, let's see, Bitter Springs, um, and then, okay, what do you protect your town from? Uh, alright, so now we're gonna go, um... I think I should probably just go ahead and do um, the quest with um, Bone first before I do anything else. Um, let's see, Ranger Andy. Um, where does he live? Does he live in like a house? Um, he might live in a house. Oh no, I am temporarily off of my chat for two seconds. There we go. And of course my... <laughs> Great, my internet decides my internet decided to shut down, but only on that computer. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. Jesus. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that was very silly. Um I hadn't pressed my computer, I hadn't like moved it around in a bit, and because of that it disconnected, so um I hope that everyone's having a good night. I know that, like, everything is still working. Um, it's just that my computer decided to be a little bit willful. So, yeah. <laughs> Very silly. Okay, so then that's Jenny Mae Crawford, who... I think this lady is who I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm pretty sure she's the baddie who um, did the thing to Bone's wife that we're going to try and resolve. Um, hello? Okay. Oh, these are her mercenaries. Okay, cool. Um, I don't need anything from this lady right now. Cool. Um, and let's see what's going on over here. Is this a house? I mean, is this a house with a door? <laughs> Look at a house. Is this a house? <laughs> That's my mind, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, McBride house. Um, where does Bone live? Does he live, like, in the store? Jesus, he very well might live in the store. I don't fucking know. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Novak Settler. Right now, I'm just fucking vibing. Um, also, along the way to New Vegas, we're gonna come across one of the other cooler companions. Her name is Veronica, and she's a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and by that I mean she's a former member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, she's really cool, and she's a lesbian, and I like her a lot. Um, you, actually, yeah, you are the lady that I'm gonna be looking for once I help Boone with his quest, but I gotta find him first. Um, I, <laughs> that was apparently a little bit too much for the computer. Um, where the fuck... I guess I'm just gonna have to wait until night, which is annoying, but I mean, A, sometimes it'd be like that, you know? Um, so let's see, we're going over to Dino, um, and then I could open the store if I really wanted to, but that'd be stealing, and stealing isn't very nice. Um, okay, so we're gonna go over here. Okay, now we're going to wait. Let's say we wait 
eight hours. That should be enough. Okay. Also, I don't know why it is that my graphics are kind of messing up. Um, is it still too early? Is it still too early? Dang it. Okay. Okay, come on. You are not who I'm supposed to be looking for. There you are. Okay. <laughs> hey, sir, I was here first. <laughs> okay. Um, expecting visitors. Um, if you... Okay, so let's see. Yeah. I like how 41 is apparently the exact amount that I needed, and that is my amount. Um, let's see. Uh, well, I'm not from here. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, why is that? Um, what do you want me to do? Um, so yeah, trying to track down uh, the wife's dead. Um, okay, let's see. What do I do? Yep, cool. Bring the NCR Barretts. Um, okay, there we go. Um, so yeah. So he knows his wife's dead because he's the one who kills her. Um, for everyone who is like a super into like the lore of this or whatever. Um, the person that I'm looking for is Jenny Mae Crawford. Um, I'm like 90% sure that's who it is. I've played this game enough times to remember, like, at the very least, those details. I think if I have a high enough speech, I can get her to, like, incriminate herself. Um, but I... It's entirely possible I'm just gonna have to sneak around. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Come with me. Um, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Um, let's see. And then I think I might have to go... I might have to go into her house, but I might also be able to find it if I look around here. Um, come on. I know that I could just fucking Google the stuff beforehand. Um, dang it, I'm probably gonna have to go and steal the key off of her. Um, which honestly is definitely something I can do. So that's fine. Um, uh, that is, oh no, are the sirens starting where you live already, Tria? Jesus. Um, okay, cool. So then I am going to have to escape. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait until I'm hidden. Uh, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, so then cancel E. What is the button to remove the shit that I'm holding? Um, okay, so let's see. I need you to not be detecting me, ma'am, but I'm pretty sure I'm wearing heavy armor, which undoubtedly affects my stuff. Um, yep, I'm wearing an armored, um, thing, so I just need to be wearing not this. Um, I'll be wearing my Vault 21 jumpsuit. Yeah. Um, okay, and now let's exit. Alright, so once again, I'm gonna need you to stop detecting me. Uh. Stop detecting me. God damn it. Are you the only person around, or is there someone else? Um, but a lot of people think... Uh, okay, I might just have to wait until... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to wait until she's, like, in her room and, like, sleeping before I can actually take from her. Um, hidden. Okay, so then... Let's see. Um, I'm currently detected, but I won't be for long. Uh, she should stop detecting me in a second. Um, I should be fine. Excellent. Okay, here we fucking go. Now we're gonna be able to go and we're gonna be able to get her to... I don't know why the loading screen stopped. Um, it's really weird. I don't personally mind it all that much, but it is weird. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just quick save. Um, and now we're gonna go and open up that safe. Love it here. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead, open up that safe. There should be a bill of sale. Yep, fucking knew it. Um, and then, now we know that it's her. Um, and we can go and we can uh, and we can just kill the right person outright. And we can get our homie Boone as a companion, which is really cool for people who like to be snipers. I do know where a sniper rifle appears in the game for sure. Um, and I'm going to go and grab it. It's entirely possible we'll make it there today, but I don't think that we will. Um, I'm gonna need you to open up. Let's see. Um, I come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. I'm also holding a shotgun to her face, 
So, I mean, she's making all the smart choices. Um, I am going to go and I'm going to read the notes just so y'all can see um, what's going on. Um, we, um, from the township of Carla Boone. Yep. And then... It's really fucking awful, but um, she sold uh, Boone's wife as a uh, slave, and now she's going to get what's coming to her. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on... Apparently I can't put it on yet, so that's great. Um, if you ever... <laughs> just to mess with your brain. <laughs> what is this TQ thing? You're already messing with my brain just by saying TQ and like acting like that's something that I should know innately. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, so let's see. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Are you already in front of the dinosaur? I can only hope that you're already in front of the fucking dinosaur. Um, if not, I'm just gonna have to wait here. Apparently, I just, uh, apparently I just am too fast. Um, I am too fast and too furious. So, let's see. Are you... Cool, you're here. Thank you. I can go ahead and put on the Barrett now. Why are you not letting me put on the spray? There we go. Love it here. Um, there is... <laughs> nice. Also, look at look at this fucking asshole wearing this beret. <laughs> I love it here. I have been talking nonstop for like three and a half hours, and so like my throat is like, I'm, I'm starting to feel it in my throat. <laughs> Let's see, it's 8.30. I do think that we're probably going um, to stop the stream like right around nine. That is two and a half hours of just fucking fallout, you know? <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you. Um, I found the bill of sale. Let's see. And now, um, we have a companion. Um, fuck yeah. Um, he's given me the spotter perk, which increases my perception. Um, and, and I just, I love it here because Boone is probably like the most useful companion in this game. I personally like, um, the, uh, Sharon Rose... <laughs> She's my favorite companion, for obvious reasons, if you know me. Um, but Boone is definitely, like, the, the best companion for my particular style of play, which is sneaky sneak and stealth of stealth um, once I get the sniper rifle. I really hope I get the sniper rifle before the end of today, but I am going to go and I'm going to help my boy Manny. Um, Manny deserves a fucking break. And in order to help him out, we gotta go do the fucking Fly Me to the Moon mission, which is over there. So yeah. Um, but now we have a homie who is really cool. Um, I'm also going to get, like, a real rifle. <laughs> I'm gonna get, like, an actual fucking gun. Not these <laughs> shits that I have right now. <laughs> but yeah, I think that we're probably gonna play for, like, another 30-ish minutes, and then that'll be it for tonight. And honestly, that's good. Um, I have created a space that I think has enabled people to relax. We've had some laughs. We've goofed off together. And, you know, like, we did what we needed to do to vibe. Also, I'm 90% sure this asshole is supposed to be alive. But he is very dead. And his face... I don't know what's going on with his face. I know that I got radiation just by standing next to him. But his face looked fucked, and it was weird. Um, so let's see. Let's. I'm going to go ahead and just grab my fucking baseball bat. Um, because we're going to be encountering ghouls. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. I switch to the bat, and then Boone immediately just fucking shoots a motherfucker, like, halfway. That was great. Um, there's some more people over here. There's also, like, explosives and stuff, if I remember correctly, so I am keeping my eyes open. Um, I might be wrong. <laughs> I'm starting to think I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that we got the best boy in the game, like, so early on. Um, the minute I knew that we were going to be coming over here, 
I knew to come over to this place just to try and do that quest. Um, so yeah, I also really like this quest. Um, this quest involves so many different like layers of stuff, and there's so many different ways that you can complete this quest. Um, so let's see, gonna be taking all of the all of this shit, um, and then open Footlocker. There's another similarly like really involved quest. Um, oh shit, it's mines. Oh, I want them so badly. <laughs> um, I don't have the carry weight to take them, which is just really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so, ooh, first aid box. You don't have any- oh my god, I just want a fucking stim pack, you know? Um, but also, yeah, Zal, we're doing the ghoul quest. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's, like, a ton of ghoul quests in this game. There is a ghoul companion who's an engineer. He's really cool. He's one of- his name is Raul, and he's one of my other, like, hem- um, I think the super mutant's name is, like, Lily, um, Sharon, Rose, and Boone are all the, like, best companions in this game. This game has a lot of, like, A-plus tier companions. I really like it. Um, the, the companions are one of the only ways that this game just absolutely fucking smokes, um, Fallout 4, in my opinion. I have a really controversial opinion in that I like Fallout 4 more than I like this game. Come on, Boone! Fuck him up. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, you got me. I don't like getting got. Are you cool? <laughs> Love it here. Thanks, Boone. There's some more of these assholes, though, so we're gonna have to be careful. Um, there's just, like, a whole bunch of them over here. Um, you're a dead ghoul who is wearing... The Bright Brotherhood, that's what they're called. Um, I'm probably going to come back for that plasma pistol later, but I don't have the carry weight right now. Um, so let's see. There are more ghouls over here who Boone will probably just 360 no scope. Um, the second we start to get closer to them... Oh no, they're going to be able to come at me first. Ooh, but I was able to like um, hide first. Hello. Okay, so let's see. Will I be able to fucking snipe you before you see me? Um, God, I love this fucking perk. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah! Love it here. Okay, so that's one. There is another one. Come on. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, this is also really useful for dealing with invisible enemies, like the Night Stalkers who fucked me up. Although... When they started fucking me up, they weren't invisible. And I think Zal's right. I think that I'm just going to have to stop being a hoarder and just sell my shit. Um, yeah. Um, go and take all the way up. Let's see. Um, all right. Uh, so I know who that is. Um, that's the Bright Brotherhood's homie, and he wants me to go ahead and kill some assholes. Um... Can I eat ghouls? I cannot eat ghouls because I can't eat super mutants. Although I'm pretty sure there is a level of this perk. Um, Boon! No! My homie! Hate it here. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to stop sneaking. Hey! Dickheads! Fuck off! Uh, excuse you! Fuck off! Fuck off! Why are you stuck in the door? God damn it. Um, okay. Hey, are you okay? Um, so this is, okay. So for people who have never seen this before, um, this is the companion wheel. And, um, this game's way of handling companions is different from both Fallout 4 and, um, the Elder Scrolls way of handling companions. Um, if you just want to give your homies, um, like, commands, you don't have to talk to them. You can just use this wheel. Um, they have default settings, like, Boone innately wants to fight from a distance, and they have different, like, play styles and shit. Um, Veronica, who's one of the human companions, fights up close and personal with, like, her power fist, which is one of the best weapons in the game. Don't be stuck. Okay. <laughs> I just turn around immediately and I'm like, hey. 
All right, come on. Where are you? Um, I know you're around here somewhere because my homie's perk increases my perception, which is really good because I made my perception kind of low. Uh, hello. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Fucking stop. Stop. Also, when, um, so when you're like in, z when you're in the dramatic kill cam, you still can attack. Um, how you attack differs from the sort of weapon you have equipped, but for melee, you can just do like super quick stabby stab. Um, and super quick stabby stabs are very good stabby stabs. Um, so let's see. Are there any explosives here? <laughs> I like how this is like the first thing I wonder. I'm like, look, am I about to die? <laughs> And honestly, asking if you're about to die should be what you do every time you enter a new room. Um, that way, when you die, which will happen eventually, you're not surprised. You can go out on your own terms. Um, murder, 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 murder. <laughs> mada, 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 mada. <laughs> that is a motherfucking JoJo's reference. I don't know if Zal was making a JoJo's reference, but I was. Um... I've actually never seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but like I know I know the references and stuff. Um, I very much like stabby gameplay. Um, I also like sneaky gameplay. Um, all right, he's gonna. This one's gonna get got. Watch. <laughs> Love it here. I was gonna stab him, but I have no problem with my homie being like, "Nah, I got you. Um, you help me avenge my wife." I'll shoot everyone who wants to hurt you in the face. Um, I would rather you not- Hey, sir. Sir. <laughs> sir. I'm gonna need you to fucking stop. Hey, fucking stop it. Stop it. There is another one. There's actually a couple of other ones. So let's see how this is gonna go. Um, I'll let Boone handle them. <laughs> he just like walks out immediately. He's like, nah, man, I got this. Um, oh wow, he does got those. Uh, excuse you. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, there should be another one, I think. Unless Boone got that Oh no, Boone did not get that one. <laughs> I do not like to live life dangerously. The fact that I don't like to live life dangerously was attested to... I like how he has a melee weapon. <laughs> oh no, there it comes. Uh, excuse you, dickhead. You have a lot of health, and I don't like it. I am not doing great in terms of health, but that's fine, because I have a single stim pack. <laughs> let's, let's see what I can do here. Um, I can get back 10 health from water. Um, we're about to start encountering the super mutants, I think. Um, there, just so you know, the reason why I keep talking about super mutants in this area is that there are, in fact, super mutants in this area. Um, there's a whole group of super mutants. Boone! <laughs> Where are you that that was an enemy that you fought? Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> Not me taking next to no fall damage. <laughs> I definitely need a bed, but I'm pretty sure um, in the ghoul area there is in fact a bed that I can rest in. And I don't know if I'm about to encounter any more enemies um, before I make it there. I might be about to encounter a few. No, I've made it. Cool. Um, smooth skin? That's racist. Um, we have made it! Hell yeah! Um... The Nightkin are cool. They're spooky. Um, so, this guy is a guy who thinks he's a ghoul. He is not a ghoul. Um, I'm going to ignore the fact that he is not a ghoul for right now. I'm going to save that devastating news for him for later. Um, it will be relevant <laughs> at a future point in this quest line. Um, look at all this science shit. Uh, my character has a big mind. So he'll be able to take advantage of some of this stuff um, just as soon as I can find a bed. I hope that there's one here. There is one here. 
love it here. I like how this is one of those games where if you get to sleep in a bed, um, you can like recover all of your HP, and if all of your bones are broken, but you've somehow managed to crawl to a bed, it, it still works for you. Um, Bright Follower. So Jason should be somewhere over here, and he is the head honcho. Hello. Uh, let's see. So this guy is a cult leader who basically wants to take his followers to the moon. Um, it is not going to go well unless you intervene. Um, so, yeah. Um, even after the madness, the demons must have let them out. The demons are the super mutants and the nightkin who are chilling in the basements. Um, we need to go and deal with them. So that way, the feral ghouls stop creeping into Novak and start and stop scaring everyone out. Um, let's see, let's see. Bup, bup, bup. Um, the rest retreated. Um, you say one of the demons raved over the intercom. Let's see. All right. I think that we are going to. Um, I think that we're going to probably do this portion of the quest and then maybe call it a night, depending on how long it takes. Um, you can talk to the Nightkin boss of this particular faction. Um, Lily, who is one of your followers, um, is also a Nightkin that you can talk to. She's either a Nightkin or, or just a generic super mutant. I can't really remember off the top of my head. Um, Antler. <laughs> That's right. Um, so the really weird thing about this nightkin boss, um, the way like the the special way that this nightkin is kind of specially crazy, is that like they have a fucking deer skull and they're just like, yo, uh, what should I do? And they talk to the deer skull and it's it's fucking wild. Um, I do believe we should be able to make it um, to that point tonight in the next eighteen minutes. Um, let's let's see what happens from here okay dark in here um, I can spot for you keep you on target um, I'm going to test something because I'm pretty sure um, that the enemy over here is already do they start off invisible and if so does spotter let me detect them I'm pretty sure it does um, if I remember correctly, there's a way that you can deal with them peacefully, um, but you could also definitely just kill them. Um, either way, I mean, it gets the job done, but it's me. And also, like, this is one of those games where, like, dealing with things peacefully is usually harder than dealing with them violently. Um, okay, so, let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if that's where we have to go, so I'm going to open this door. But first, I'm going to quick save. Is this the way I have to go? It is the way I have to go. Cool, 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 cool. Um, nice. Love it here. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. Um, are you all right? Okay, um, I came here, let's see. <laughs> Antler used intercom? Okay. You know it's serious when I'm like not even um you know it's serious when I am like not talking for a second. Okay. So um, why can't you search? Oh, that's right. It's the ghoul sniper. Oh, this is such a fucking cool quest. Oh my god. I love that this is the way that we're ending tonight. Um. Okay. 
the ghoul. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, so um, the context for this is that um, there is a ghoul sniper. Is he in this store? He very he very well might be. Um, he is not in this store. Okay, I'm just gonna let me see if the, let me see if this set it to my default quest. It very well might have um, quests. All right, come fly with me. I'm gonna set that to my default quest. Okay, so it's over here. Um, so for context, um, the ghoul sniper was, if I remember correctly, like a member of a mercenary band or something. And when the Nightkin invaded, they killed his girlfriend. Um, I remember that there was something silly about his girlfriend or whatever. He got super pissed and he started killing them on site. Um, and he's going to ask us to do something. Uh, there he is. We can kill him. Or we cannot. I prefer not to kill if it's not necessary. So... Um, Jason sent me down here. And I bet he tells you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. Let's give you a hint. But no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm par for the living. This is great. Oh, this is such a good quest. It would have been really cool if Harlem could have been a companion. I was escorting folks down to work. I would have really liked that. <laughs> things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks managed to make for the basement. And I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. But things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this one. <laughs> Chris coming in real strong. <laughs> Hey Chris, how's it going? <laughs> tell you. Rad looks free for protein. Let's see. Um okay, come on. Um Okay. Um I helped them out. And they kept the supply with ammo. Good company. How can I help you get out of this room? Um let's see. Nice. I love that, Chris. So that's, uh, so wait, so one of the races has already been called? Damn. I wouldn't be surprised, um, I wouldn't be surprised if more than one race has actually been called. I have managed to be spectacularly offline for a lot of this. Um, when I go onto Twitter in a few minutes, um, I am absolutely gonna be floored by all the news. Um, okay, so I gotta find his friend. Um, the friend's been imprisoned. Um, if I remember correctly, Jesus, I think I can talk to Antler Dude um, and just do it that way. Um, okay, Jesus. So where is the imprisoned friend? Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to go over here and find the friend that way. Um, and then, yeah. So yeah, you can't always just kill the ghoul if you want to. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hey. Uh, excuse you. I was trying to not kill people. I was trying to do this the fucking nice ass way, and you had to go and get in my way and keep me from doing that. Jesus. Oh, there's another one. Up. Oh, hey, sir. Jesus, these assholes. I'm trying to do this without fucking murder. <laughs> okay, come on. There's almost certainly someone in here. Um, and it might not be who I'm looking for. But it also might be, because I don't remember everything about this quest. I had forgotten about Harland, honestly. Um, I remembered, I remembered like, that there was a Nightkin boss... But I did not remember, 
I don't feel like dealing with this. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Open. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in here. There are definitely times when I feel like being patient, and there's also times when I don't. Um, okay. What's going to happen if I blow that up? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Okay, something happened. Um, hello? <laughs> Very confused. Um, I don't know what happened, but there was just like, oh, hello. Um, nice. Um, oh, Nightkin Jailer. Who are you jailing? <laughs> <laughs> this game uh, let me see what you had I'll go ahead and take your flamer fuel thank you ooh stealth boy ah stealth boys are so fucking useful also hey dickhead come on do me a favor there we go um, <laughs> it's unusual for me to just be that direct but I mean sometimes it's about sending a message you know um, I think that I might be able to find who I'm looking for if I just go down there. Um, that's not where I was trying to go. Um, I don't think that we're actually going to finish this entire quest today because, as you guys can see, we've been going for two and a half hours. And I did a one hour live stream earlier. And I do want to start to pay attention to results as they come in. Because I talked about the presidential results earlier and how those won't be counted tonight. They just won't. Um, what was that? I saw like a little red flash and I don't know what it was. Um, okay, come on. Let's. Oh, hello. Um, I like how that was apparently a critical strike. And now I have evidently pissed him off. <laughs> so let's see. Um, oh, you have a cool. Ho oh, that's cool. I'm excited for the Halloween one shot, Sal. Um, I'm gonna need the slow-mo camera to hurry up. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there's another one. Um, you fucking thought. Uh, <laughs> you thought. Uh, I'm gonna need you to stop. Uh, <laughs> I like the, <laughs> I like the really slow wind-up. Um, this guy wants to go fucking melee. Let's go fucking melee. Um, <laughs> He was going to try it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also going to check my local map to see if I've already come across where I need to go. Um, which objective is this? Okay. Um, I think that this is the objective that I'm looking for. The optional objective. Um, so let's see. Oh, I don't need banshees in my life, Zal. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs banshees in their life. Um, where the fuck, okay, so, I think that in order to get down there, I have to go the other way, the way that I was before, somehow. Let me see if that shit works. Um, I also like how I've just become better at spotting Nightkin, like, the first, the first few times they caught me off guard, but after a while I just sort of adapted to them. Um, unlocked with jail key, yeah, um, fuck out of here. Okay, now I should be able to find the person, and if they're dead, I'll just resurrect them. Um, you're the ghoul prisoner? Oh. Oh, I don't need to resurrect you. Um, you're... The game considers you dead. Um, actually, I'm gonna be nice, and I'm going to resurrect you anyway, and I'm gonna see what happens. Resurrect. It's time for me to use Jesus powers. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, hey. Um... Oh, okay. Apparently, it doesn't matter that I resurrected you. Um, <laughs> there was an attempt, y'all. I was trying to help out my man, ha my man Harland, and it didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, now we should be able to go and tell Harland the bad news. We should be able to go and find the shipping invoice, and we should be good to go. Um, hello. Um, <laughs> I went in with very aggressive energy. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I hope that everyone's having a good election night. Um, ooh, I can, yeah, I can really feel that in my throat. Um, did you find my friend? Um, 
Okay, cool. Um, look around here if you want. Um, my man Harlan should be fine. Um, if I find his dead body, I'm gonna resurrect him because, like, he's a bro. Um, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna search for the invoice, which should be, like, probably right here, honestly. Um, shipment mistake. Let's see. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Um, okay. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's, like, the one that I really needed to find. Um, shipment sent back. Cool, there we go. Now we can, oh yeah, we did it. This is nice. Um, cool. So this is this part of this quest done. Hey. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> just the little... <laughs> <laughs> me like passively me passive aggressively swinging my bat at the <laughs> bear trap <laughs> okay cool uh, uh excuse you rude fuck you um i think it's because i like fought his friends um that said if he wasn't mad before he's definitely mad now have fun making it through my friend dickhead I was, I can't believe this shit. I'm pretty sure if you get into a fight with any of the Nightkin, um, he automatically turns hostile, which is just really annoying, you know? Um, I went to all that trouble. Um, I really like the bumper sword, so I'm gonna take the bumper sword. Um, you're an asshole. Um, so let me see what I can get rid of. Um, I should definitely put on this hat, which would increase my perception. Um, let me see what else I can get rid of. Um, chopper. I can get rid of this. Um, that unfortunately doesn't do much. Bonus limp. Let me see which one of these does more. 12 and 44. Okay, now I'm gonna take back the chopper. <laughs> I'm doing math, my mind. Um, <laughs> let's see. I don't need this fucking battery. Um,. <laughs> Now that I'm actually, like, seriously trying to, like, do inventory management, this is such a great way to end to end the live stream, right, guys? So exciting. Um, sturdy caravan shotgun. I don't need these fucking throwing spears. There we go. Um, so let's see. Banshees are not my friends, Al. Um, I know what they are, what they do. I don't need that sort of negative energy in my life. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I do not have the strength for the sword, but I just really like the sword. Um, so, so yeah. Also, Jess, um, if you were napping when it happened, um, we got the cannibal trait. Um, I want you to know that. Um, we actually did commit cannibalism several times earlier in the stream, um, after we got the trait, but we're not fighting humanoid enemies right now and since we're not fighting humanoid enemies you can't um like um eat them up yet so i can't remember if in this game you can actually get to eat like non-humanoid enemies with a cannibalism perk you might just have to take it twice because some perks can be taken more than once um but yeah so i think that we're gonna go ahead and accept credit for completing for completing this part of the quest and then i think that's gonna be it for tonight um, it's been two hours and 45 minutes, which is just, wow, that's a lot. Um, oh, okay, you were awake? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you got to see us, um, eat people, you know? Um, here you go. Is the way clear? Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Let's see. Um, so the next part of the quest is going to be us helping them, um, finish everything up. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Um, now I have full energy. Also, um, we leveled up again, so let's see what our title is this time, because we are not a level 5 citizen anymore. Um, we are a level 6 adventurer. Nice. Um, also, at this point, we're starting to get to the point where we can probably take on, like, most of the, most of the chonkier enemies that the game has to offer. So that's good. I'm also gonna put on the hat, so that way my perception increases. Um, the hat is very nice. Um, apparel, first recon beret, thank you. More perception's always good. Um, do you have anything useful? You, I like how the door was in red. It's like, just interacting with this will cause you to lose karma. It did not. 
Um, open door. Okay, apparently that's not where I'm going. Um, 4,000 people in Kentucky actually voted for Kanye. Honestly, knowing Kentucky, that might have cost Trump Kentucky. And that shit would be fucking hilarious if Kanye cost Trump Kentucky. Um, for the record, Trump still probably won Kentucky, but it would be really funny if it came down to those 4,000 votes. Um, so yeah, um, I think that we're gonna go ahead and look at this glowing ash pile. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah um let's head on down over here we're gonna go and we're gonna talk with our homies um if there are any other super mutants i'll show them what's up and i'll be like hey you want to go let's fucking go um there very well might be so be ready i'm keeping my eyes open for their fucking <laughs> For their fucking attitudes and shit. Um, okay. <laughs> My roommates and their friends are been, they're, they're vibing outside. I think that they just want to go and grab dinner. Um, I think that after this, I'm probably gonna go and grab dinner too. Um, so let's see. Okay, I'm trying to follow the fucking. Hey, there it is. Okay, we just had to go down here. <laughs> um, the stairs. Uh, I think I probably took a little bit of damage because I saw my character do the animation um here we go and now we're in the place where like all of our speech and science stuff is going to come in really handy because now is the part of the quest where um we have to tell the guy who's not a ghoul that he's not a ghoul and if i remember correctly at first he's gonna be like i want to get revenge because they've been lying to me and you can either talk him out of it you can help him or like um, just do a bunch of little things. Um, he should be over here. There should be, like, a little science -y area right behind here. Uh, yeah! So there's Jason. Um, let's see. Um, bup -bup -bup. um, what? Okay, let's talk about Chris. Yeah. Um, eat mug cake and call that dinner. <laughs> It's nine o'clock, guys. Love it here. Um, I like how Jessica's asking what's a mug cake like I did earlier. Our minds. <laughs> you take some cake, you put it in a mug. You take cake mix, you put it in a mug. Um, you put milk in it, and then I think you like microwave it for a little bit. That's a mug cake. Tria told me earlier today. See. All right, so yeah, radioactivity. Um, so let's see. I will say it's none of my business. Um, so then let's see. Goodbye, Jason. I'm gonna go talk to Chris because there's gonna be like a little bit of a struggle. Um, so let's see. How can I help? Um, I am not doing a morally good Legion playthrough. I fucking hate the Legion. And, oh God, I went out of my way. Um, Chris, you missed it. Um, but I killed Volpes earlier. I had, to re I had to restart it because I fucked up in the beginning. But I killed him before I even talked to him. I did not fucking hesitate. I was just like, yo, fuck these guys. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> let's see yeah like it's also it is also really tough to do like a morally good legion playthrough if that's what you want to do um let's see i'll track down the igniting agents um so let's see um completed find atomic fuel all right so i think i think that that's probably enough for today i think that if we were to do any more um it would just be going on for a really long time um, so now, um, I also like how it keeps track of the playtime, um, because that means that I'm always gonna know roughly how long, like, the total, uh, roughly how long each individual fucking, um, 
video has been because I am putting these up on YouTube. Um, I have the first one over on YouTube, but I have it private. I'm going to keep it. Um, <laughs> that fucking name gets me every time I see it. Valentois Stick. <laughs> Um, but I am uploading the videos to YouTube. I am just keeping them private until they um, expire over on um, here because right now I have my settings. I actually have my settings configured properly this time so that way you can actually continue to watch um, the stuff even after everything's over. Um, so I'm going to see who's live right now so that way I can see who we can raid. Um, so Inane Dragon is live, and I think that's who we're going to raid. Um, I am going to go ahead and exit out of everything, and then as soon as I end the stream is when we are going to do the raid. So I hope that everyone is having a good night. I am going to go ahead and um, set everything up so that way the raid can start as soon as we're over. But I hope that everyone has a really good election night. Um, let's go on over to... Zal streams are good, and you should watch them, but Zal is not streaming right now. Otherwise, I'd be raiding Zal's channel. Um, so I hope that everyone goes and helps us raid um, over on that channel. Um, so yeah, have a good night, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and click end the stream, and then we are going to hop on over there. Bye-bye!